the murderous aura of the possessed person is useless to the Dragon Rider Corps Commander. The Corps Commander, who is as powerful as the Intermediate Supreme, is enough to easily defeat the two possessed people. When Lin Moyu summoned the Corps Commander, he suddenly felt a gaze from a distance. Gu Nianchui looked over with surprise. In the eyes of others, the Corps Commander summoned by Lin Moyu is just a puppet. A puppet that has reached the intermediate heavenly venerable is rarer than ordinary heavenly venerable realm magic weapons. Even Gu Nianchui, who was born in the Holy Land, couldn't help but take a second look. In addition to being surprised, he also took out a magic weapon. This magic weapon is like an abacus, a round abacus, exuding the breath of the heavenly venerable realm. There are more than a dozen beads on the magic weapon, six of which are shining. There is also an origin crystal inlaid on the magic weapon. The origin crystal provides power for the magic weapon. Gu Nianchui does not need any power to drive this supreme realm magic weapon. Another magic weapon tailored for him. The Hansui Holy Land is indeed rich and powerful. This also proves that Gu Nianchui has a high status in the Holy Land. Gu Nianchui activated the magic weapon, and the six beads on the magic weapon emitted light at the same time, falling on the six Lan family Tianzins. The auras of the six Lan family Tianzins instantly merged together, like a whole. Gu Nianchui threw the magic weapon, and the magic weapon absorbed the auras of several people and evolved into a 100-meter giant. Among the six Lan family Tianzins, one was a 127 intermediate Tianzuan. The giant merged their power and was stronger than the intermediate Tianzuan, but it had not reached the level of the high-level Tianzuan. The giant roared and killed the possessed. At the same time, the six Lan family Tianzins also took action. The giant was formed by the fusion of magic weapons, and they did not lose their combat power. Lin Moyu saw it and murmured, it's a good treasure. Gu Nianchui looked over with a hint of arrogance. As if to say, my treasure is stronger than yours. Lin Moyu did not comment on this and laughed it off. It's a bit ridiculous that a young master from a holy land would still have a competitive heart at this moment. All this happened in an instant, and the battle with the possessed person broke out in the next moment. The number one legion commander waved his sword, performed a death charge, and rushed out like a thunderbolt. Although he was the only one charging, the movement was like thousands of troops charging together. Amid the roar of the earth, the two possessed people were knocked away at the same time. The number one legion commander rushed to one of them, raised his sword and fell, the murderous aura exploded, and the possessed person was killed on the spot. At the same time, he exhaled a breath of death towards the other possessed person. The possessed person suddenly ignited a raging flame and was burned to ashes in the blink of an eye. The battle started quickly and ended even faster. The number one legion commander killed two possessed people in just a blink of an eye, showing his strong fighting power. In Lin Moyu's opinion, this is normal. If the killing is slow, it is abnormal. The legion leader possesses the art of command, gathering the power of the entire legion. His combat power is top-notch even among the middle-level heavenly venerables. He is strong enough to fight the Skeleton King in a one-on-one -on -one duel. If the entire legion is released, the Skeleton King will be defeated. Gu Nianchui saw this and his face looked a little unhappy. He felt as if he had not defeated Lin Moyu. The giant he evolved with the magic weapon, together with the six heavenly venerables of the Lan family, has fought against the twelve possessed people. Although the number of people is behind, the strength is overwhelming, but not as fast as Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu looked at Gu Nianchui's expression and said in his heart, Keep acting, I will cooperate with you. Lin Moyu could see that Gu Nianchui's expression was just fake. Gu Nianchui deliberately wanted to make himself feel that he was inexperienced and had no scheming. Gu Nianchui acted no matter how he acted to deceive Lin Moyu's spiritual perception. Please help me, fellow Taoist. As the call sounded, two Tianzins who joined forces suddenly flew towards Lin Moyu. They were no match for the four possessed people, so they could only fight and retreat while trying to help Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu was not stingy either, and the number one legion commander directly took action to help them deal with the possessed people. 
With the powerful thug of the number one legion commander, the pressure on the two people was greatly reduced, and they quickly killed the possessed people. Lin Muiyu found that the two people were not weak, and there was no panic on their faces when they called just now. In other words, even if he did not help, they had a way to get rid of several possessed people. In the previous eight days, CJCF, all the weak Tianzans had died. The two of them were able to survive, and they obviously had their own trump cards. The two saluted Lin Muiyu, thank you for your help. Since the other party's room was hidden, Lin Muiyu did not intend to expose it, and smiled, if I remember correctly, you two should be Miao Wan and Lian Cheng. We are now on the same boat, and it is right to help each other. Miao Wan laughed, fellow Taoist, you have a good memory. If Miao remembers correctly, your surname should be Biao. Lian Cheng smiled and said, you two should stop flattering each other. I don't have such a good memory. How could the memory of the heavenly venerable be bad? Photographic memory is the most basic. Lian Cheng is just being polite. Lin Moyu asked, I wonder how you two got through these eight days. The two looked at each other and then roughly recounted their experiences in the eight days. They met on the second day after entering the origin secret treasure. When they met, they happened to come to a lake and encountered a black dragon. The two joined forces to kill the black dragon and obtained the origin crystal. After that, the two have been working together to find the late black dragon, but unfortunately they did not find it. Later, they met the possessed person, and the two of them teamed up to kill the possessed person, and spent eight days like this. It sounds simple, whether it is true or not, Moyu did not want to correct it. He just asked casually. Miao Wen looked at the number one legion leader beside Lin Moyu with envy. Fellow Taoist Lin has such a powerful puppet to protect him. Whether it is the black dragon or the possessed person, in your eyes, they are like chickens and pottery dogs. Lin Moyu smiled slightly and did not answer. Seeing that Lin Moyu did not say anything, the two did not ask any more questions. While the few people were talking, the battle on Gu Nianchue's side had also ended, and all the possessed people were killed. The giant disappeared and fell back into Gu Nianchue's hands, turning into a magic weapon. Gu Nianchue whispered, being able to live until now is enough to prove that the seniors are very powerful. I didn't expect that this secret treasure of the origin would be so dangerous. If the seniors can help me get the inheritance of the Star Lord, I will definitely reward you handsomely. Miao Wen said, We have made a soul oath before that we will not compete with you for the inheritance of the Star Lord. As for whether we can help you, it depends on the opportunity. Lian Cheng also said, We will definitely help where we can, but if we can't help, we can't do anything. Lin Muiyu smiled. You have the help of six Tianzans from the Lan family, plus the magic weapons given by the Holy Land. Your strength is far above ours. Maybe we should ask you for help. The reason why Gu Nianchue said this was actually just to make Lin Moyu and the other two have an attitude. Let them remember the soul oath and not compete with him for the inheritance of the Star Lord. The earth finally stopped shaking, and the secret treasure no longer shrank. The secret treasure now turned into a small space of only 100,000 meters in radius. The inheritance star in the sky was extremely bright, and he shot a beam of light that fell on the ground, and a giant altar emerged in the light. There was a stone tablet on the altar, with a total of six passages leading to the stone tablet. In the stone tablet, a one-horned giant dragon emerged, and the terrifying pressure swept across the world. The pressure came head on, and several people took several steps back. A huge force fell on them, trying to force them to kneel down. Lin Moyu snorted in his heart, You want me to kneel? No way. His whole body was swirling with golden flames, and his immortal golden body exploded, forcibly withstanding the pressure. The number one legion commander also held his head high and ignored the overwhelming pressure. Lin Moyu saw Gu Nianchue and gritted his teeth to persist. On the contrary, two Lan family Tianzans were very unbearable and had already knelt on the ground. Miao Wan and Lian Cheng also gritted their teeth and persisted and did not kneel down. Lin Moyu realized that different cultivation realms would bear different pressures. 
Otherwise, the pressure that even Tianzuan would kneel down, solid water would not be able to withstand. The real test of pressure is not strength, but determination. As long as the determination is firm enough, the pressure can be ignored. The whole process lasted only 10 seconds, and the pressure disappeared. The golden young man was extinguished, and Lin Moyu was calm. Gu Nianxue was panting heavily there, sweating all over. As a saint, he could hold on under such pressure, which was enough to prove that his mind was strong enough. Born in a holy land, with such a mind, as long as he was not too unlucky, it would not be a problem to cultivate to the heavenly venerable. Gu Nianxue finally recovered his breath and said to the two heavenly venerables of the Lan family who were still kneeling on the ground, you can get up. The two did not move. Gu Nianxue said again, don't kneel, get up. His movement attracted Lin Moyu's attention. Lin Moyu glanced over and was shocked, dead. The two heavenly venerables of the Lan family who were kneeling on the ground were actually dead. They died silently. Gu Nianxue finally realized that the two were dead, and his face turned pale. Kneeling down just now meant death. And the death was silent. If it were me, no matter how many magic weapons I had, I might not be able to save my life. Gu Nianxue was scared for a while. Fortunately, I didn't kneel just now. Miao Wen and Lian Qing realized it a little late, and they finally realized that the two Lan family Tianzuan were dead. The two people's faces changed drastically, and their eyes were full of fear. Lin Moyu frowned, there is murderous intent at every step, the origin secret treasure is really unsafe. No wonder Xu Ji Tianzuan said that the origin secret treasure is both an opportunity and a burial place. At the same time, he also noticed that the Lan family Tianzuan was very wrong. The Tianzuan of the same clan died, but the other four people did not move at all, as if the death was someone who had nothing to do with them. In the same origin secret treasure, even if an unrelated person died, it is impossible not to be moved at all. Lin Moyu was sure of his guess that the Lan family Tianzuan had become a puppet and had no self-awareness. On the altar, the one-horned dragon slowly opened his eyes, his eyes were cold, and swept towards everyone. A majestic voice sounded, those who climbed the altar will live, the time limit is ten minutes, and each channel can only be occupied. There are only six channels in the altar, and now they still have eight people. Only one person can go up each passage, which means that two of the eight people will die. It is not necessary to consider whether to let my fellow Taoist die or not. Lin Moyu walked to the leftmost passage, and the number one legion commander followed him. The leftmost passage is occupied by Lin. He announced the decision directly without any discussion. Looking at the extremely powerful number one legion commander, Gu Liancheng and Gu Lingxue did not object. As soon as Lin Weiyu left, Miao Wenliancheng became alert. They were afraid that Gu Nianxue would drive the Lan family Tianzuan to attack them. The two looked at each other and took out a magic weapon at the same time. The magic weapons of the two were exactly the same, a red bead, and there seemed to be an infinite flame burning in the bead. Gu Nianxue glanced over, Yuozu, are you two from the Sin Fire sect? Miao Wan and Lian Cheng said at the same time, as expected, he is a direct descendant of the Holy Land, and he has a wide range of knowledge. Young Master Nianxue should also understand the role of the Karma Fire Pearl. The two of us occupy two passages, so there should be no problem. Gu Nianxue's body trembled slightly, and he was obviously very angry, but he also felt helpless. He squeezed out three words from his mouth, no problem. It can be seen that he originally wanted the Lan family Tianzuan to take action. It would be best to kill both of them, even if he could only kill one. But now, he couldn't move either one. The two smiled at each other and directly chose the second and third passages on the left. Lin Moyu smiled, so the two Taoist friends are from the same sect. Miao Wan and Lian Cheng were a little embarrassed. Miao Wen was a little thick-skinned, it was not intentional to conceal it before, but the situation changed, and we also wanted to seek more opportunities for survival. Lin Moyu smiled slightly, fellow Taoist Miao, there is no need to explain, Xiao Xian understands. 
Miao Wen nodded, after this trip, the two of us will apologize to fellow Taoist Lin. Lin Moyu said, it's just a small matter, I won't take it to heart. After that, Lin Moyu turned and went up the steps, walking towards the altar step by step. Miao Wen and Lian Cheng smiled bitterly and also went up the steps. Now Gu Nianxue was the most embarrassed. Before entering the secret treasure, his strength was the most advantageous. Until then, he still had the advantage. Unexpectedly, Tu Lan family Tianzu died silently. Ask for flowers. Now there are only three passages left. If I use one, there will be only two Lan family Tianzu left. In this way, my advantage is completely gone. Gu Nianxue's eyes flickered. It seems that this is the only way. He glanced over, and two low-level Tianzu of the Lan family fell to the ground and died on the spot. The Lan family Tianzu had long been a puppet, and their life and death were controlled by Gu Nianxue. Then, Gu Nianxue took out a magic weapon, which was shaped like a box. He opened the box and immediately put the dead Lan family Tianzu into it, including the two who had died kneeling on the ground before. After Gu Nianxue did all this, and then took the remaining two Lan family Tianzins and stepped onto the steps. The steps were not long, and there was no resistance. They walked to the altar easily. Of the 36 Tianzins, only six were left. Zero. Two of them were puppets, and there were only four real living people. The casualties were close to 90%, and the origin secret was really a burial place. Ten minutes later, the one-horned dragon swept across the few people with cold eyes, and the majestic voice slowly sounded, Rise. Accompanied by a roar, the altar rose from the ground and flew towards the stars along the light. Infinite starry sky appeared in front of him, and a one-horned dragon was flying in the starry sky. It was bigger than the stars, and the starry sky shook wherever it passed. In the end, the one-horned dragon turned into a star full of murderous aura. Wherever the murderous aura passed, nothing would live, and the starry sky was dead silent. Miao Wen lost his voice and said, This is the horned dragon star. Lian Cheng was also moved, what a terrible murderous aura. Gu Nianxue was also very excited at this moment, as if he was about to get the inheritance of the horned dragon star lord. Lin Moyu's eyes flickered, and he murmured to himself, Fish Dragon Constellation. He was not only looking at the horned dragon constellation, but also at other things. This starry sky is completely different from the starry sky of the big world. It belongs to the starry sky of the origin continent. Shueiji Tianzuan said that there are countless stars on the origin continent. These stars are like real and illusory, neither real nor illusory. It is a very magical way of existence. Even if you become a Tianzuan, you can't enter it. From the reactions of Miao Wen and Lian Cheng, you can know that it is really like this. As Tianzuan, they have not really seen the starry sky on the origin continent. However, all the practitioners on the origin continent know that there are countless stars on the continent, and each star has a corresponding inheritance, which is said to be left by the real strongest. The most famous of them is the inheritance of the 28 constellations, and these 28 constellations are also called the 28 Star Kings. The Horned Dragon Star King is one of them. Star Lord is a respectful title. In the history of the Origin Continent, most of those who can inherit the Star Lord can eventually become extremely powerful. Even if they cannot surpass the past, at least they can be on par. Only a very small number of people will die halfway. Lin Muyu believes that the inheritance of the Star Lord depends not only on potential, but also on luck. On the contrary, strength is secondary. His luck has always been good, and his luck is strong enough. For example, Gu Nianxue was born in the Holy Land, and he is also a direct descendant, and he himself has a good luck. It is hard to say who has a stronger luck. However, he swore not to compete with Gu Nianxue for the inheritance of the Star Lord. As long as Gu Nianxue does not come to provoke him, he will not break his promise. It is just an inheritance, and Lin Moyu did not take it too seriously. The altar flew rapidly in the starry sky. Lin Moyu naturally knew that he did not enter the real starry sky. 
This was just an illusion evolved from the origin secret treasure. Finally, the altar of 103 stopped in front of the Jiao Jiao constellation, and a one-horned giant Jiao appeared on the altar again. A loud voice sounded, Congratulations on passing the test. You are all qualified to obtain the inheritance of Lord Xingjuan. This secret treasure was left by the third generation of Jiao Jiao Xingjuan. If any of you get the inheritance, you will be the fourth generation of Xingjuan. Not only can you inherit all the inheritance of Xingjuan, but you can also obtain all the treasures in the secret treasure. Now, you will face the last test, and the final winner will get the inheritance of Shinkan. The faces of several people changed at the same time. They thought of the previous experience, the losers were already dead. The final winner of this time can get the inheritance, so what about the loser? Wouldn't he also have to die? The eyes of Lin Moyu, Miao Wan, Lian Cheng, and Gu Nianxue suddenly became dangerous. Miao Wan and Lian Cheng looked at each other, feeling a little embarrassed. The two of them came from the same sect, but now they have to face a life and death decision, and they don't know how to choose. And they also swore not to compete with Gu Nianxue for the inheritance of the Star Lord. Gu Nianxue's eyes were full of vigilance. Although the three of them swore not to compete with him for the inheritance of the Star Lord, it was a matter of life and death, and it was hard to say what other means they would have. No one who can survive until now among so many Tianzuan would be a simple person, because Xu Wei did not dare to take it lightly. He knew very well that the soul oath was not foolproof. There are some secret means that can break the soul oath. Lin Moyu asked with a thoughtful look in his eyes, what will happen to the loser? He has seen that the big dragon has intelligence, which is similar to the spirit of the formation and the spirit of the weapon. Nine out of ten, he replaced the Star Lord of the Horned Dragon to find the inheritance and manage the inheritance after the death of the Star Lord of the Horned Dragon. And this piece of the origin secret can be regarded as the existence of the inheritance land. The big dragon laughed and said, the loser is naturally eliminated. You have passed the previous test and are qualified to live, so even if you fail this time, you will not die. Not only will you not die, this Star Lord will also give you enough rewards according to your performance. But only one person can get the inheritance of this Star Lord. Any reward is far less than the inheritance of this Star Lord. Hearing this, several people suddenly breathed a sigh of relief. Gu Nianxue first saluted Lin Moyu and the other two. Nianxue thanks the seniors for protecting me. I will tell my grandfather after I get out and thank the seniors well. He said this, seemingly to express his gratitude, but in fact he was reminding the three people not to forget the soul oath. He also told them that his grandfather was still waiting outside the origin secret treasure. That was the Tao master of the holy land, and it would be easy to kill them. Lin Moyu said, since I have sworn, I will naturally abide by it, but I also want to try it, maybe I can get some good rewards. When Miao and Lian Cheng's eyes lit up. Yes, the oath they swore was only not to compete with Gu Nianxue for the inheritance of the Star Lord. If they only participated in the final test, as long as they did not get the best result in the end, it would not be considered a violation of the oath. In this case, why not take the final reward? When Miao said to Gu Nianxue, don't worry, although we will also participate in the test, we will not compete with you for the final inheritance, you can rest assured about this. Wen Cheng said, so you don't have to be so vigilant, you should think about how to deal with the test. Gu Nianxue breathed a sigh of relief, as long as they still care about the oath. But he didn't relax completely, God knows if they will go back on their word. To survive outside, you always have to be more careful to live long. The stars in front of him lit up, and waves of murderous aura surged from the stars, overwhelming the sky and the earth. The last test began, and the big dragon on the altar laughed loudly, Now I will start to pour murderous aura, if you can't hold on, you can choose to give up. Don't force it, otherwise you will be infected by the murderous aura, either you will die or become an idiot. The big dragon laughed crazily, it looked at everyone like watching a play. The murderous aura is pervasive, there is nowhere to hide. Gu Nianxue's precious clothes sparkled, and the origin crystals lit up one after another, blocking the murderous aura. 
The murderous aura is invisible and intangible between reality and illusion and penetrates directly into the soul. Gung Yanshui's treasured clothes can even resist such strong murderous aura, which shows its quality. Even among the magic weapons of the heavenly venerable realm, it is top-notch. The remaining two heavenly venerables of the Lan family are already puppets and have long lost their own will. They should not be affected by the murderous aura. But at this time, they are shaky and unable to hold on in the murderous aura. Gu Nianchui has no intention of caring about them and lets them die. Miao Wen and Lian Cheng raised black flames upwards, which blocked part of the murderous aura and helped them share some of the pressure. The two can also hold on in the murderous aura and will not be confused. However, from the expressions of the two, it can be seen that they are not at ease. Lin Moyu's body was burning with golden flames, which flowed and resisted the murderous aura. The number one legion commander had been taken away, so there was no need to bear the impact of the murderous aura. Lin Moyu's performance fell into Miao Wan and Lian Cheng's eyes, and they secretly sighed that Lin Moyu's own strength was also extremely powerful. They were born in the Sin Fire sect and practiced the Sin Fire secret technique, which could resist some of the murderous aura. In addition to having a puppet of the middle-level Tianzuan realm, Lin Moyu's own secret technique was also very strong, which could also resist the murderous aura. It seemed that it was easier than them. Gu Nianchui also saw this scene and whispered to himself, Sure enough, but no matter how capable you are, the inheritance is destined to be mine, and none of you can take it away. I hope you can keep your promise, otherwise don't blame me for being rude. Gu Nianchui's mind was churning, and all kinds of thoughts came to his mind. He even thought about how he would deal with it if Lin Moyu and the other two did not keep the soul oath 5.5. He was not worried at all. With the treasures in his hands, he could kill even ten or eight more Tianzans, let alone a few Tianzans. Another wave of murderous aura surged, and the murderous aura suddenly became thicker. Miao Wan and Lian Cheng shouted at the same time, and the sin fire on their bodies became more fierce, but the sin fire could only block a limited amount of murderous aura, and they exerted more strength than before. Gu Nianchue's treasure clothes became brighter, and the origin crystal on his belt sparkled, gushing out a more powerful force, keeping the murderous aura out. Suddenly he saw that the golden flame on Lin Muyu's body began to dim and became weaker and weaker. Gu Nianchue said in his heart, he can't hold on. Miao Wan and Lian Cheng also thought that Lin Muyu could not hold on, and immediately shouted, fellow Taoist Lin, be careful. Lin Moyu smiled, nothing. As soon as he finished speaking, the immortal golden body was completely extinguished. The strong murderous aura immediately enveloped and swallowed Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu was engulfed by the murderous aura, and the strong murderous aura turned into a thick fog. In the blink of an eye, Lin Moyu's appearance could no longer be seen. He's finished. This thought came to Gu Nianchue's mind. Being attacked by such a strong murderous aura, unless Lin Moyu was a Taoist master, he would not be able to escape. Lian Cheng and Miao Wen also swallowed their saliva. Lin Moyu's fate seemed to foreshadow their future. They looked at each other, as if to say, why not give up? At this time, another wave of murderous aura swept over, which was stronger than before. Lian Cheng and Miao Wen groaned at the same time, and the sin fire swayed for a while, and thousands of times were rushed by the murderous aura. The two did not dare to hesitate and shouted at the same time, I give up. The altar shot out two rays of light, which passed through the murderous aura and fell on the two people, and the two immediately disappeared. Each of them carried an origin crystal in the light, which was the reward given to them. Although they were eliminated, the black dragon kept his word and there was still a reward. Gu Nianchue breathed a sigh of relief. Under the protection of the treasure clothes, he could still resist the murderous aura. There are ten origin crystals on the treasure robe, and five of them have lit up now. This treasure robe has not yet shown its strongest area. It's too weak. Gu Nianchue was a little complacent. These heavenly venerables couldn't even compare to his treasure robe. At this moment, he didn't even think that he 29 relied on external things. 
It's not because of how strong he is, but because he was born better than others. There's no way. A good birth is sometimes a kind of strength, and reincarnation is a technical job. After waiting for a while, Gu Shui felt a little strange. The murderous aura was still pouring in, and the next wave of stronger murderous aura was ready to go. Shouldn't it be over? I'm the only one left now, why isn't it over yet? Gu Yenshui thought to himself and asked, Senior, those two are my puppets. Actually, I'm the only one left now. I should have won this test. The big dragon on the altar said with sarcasm, who said you're the only one left? Gu Yenshui's face changed, and he looked towards Lin Muyu's position. He only saw a group of murderous aura like fog, and couldn't see Lin Muyu. The big dragon continued, although your magic weapon is powerful and your luck is strong, his strength is far better than yours. I think, if this continues, the final winner will be him, not you. Gu Yenshui's face changed suddenly, and he shouted to Lin Muyu, Senior Lin, aren't you here? Yes. Lin Muyu's voice sounded, the fog rolled away, and Lin Muyu walked out of it. The murderous aura kept falling on him, and his whole body was shrouded by the murderous aura, but Lin Muyu accepted it calmly. It seemed that no matter how strong the murderous aura was, it would not have any effect on him. Gu Yenshui was stunned. Lin Muyu looked like a non-human. For the first time, he truly felt the terror of Lin Muyu, and his confidence was shaken. He began to doubt whether his magic weapons could kill Lin Muyu. Gu Yenshui's spiritual perception was also very strong. He believed in his intuition. He asked carefully, Senior Lin, are you a Taoist master? Lin Muyu shook his head, of course not. Gu Yenshui asked, but why are you not afraid of murderous aura? The big dragon on the altar also asked at the same time, I also want to know why you are not afraid of murderous aura. He knew very well that the murderous aura was so strong that even a mid-level Tianzuan could not bear it. Among the low-level Tianzuan, those who can resist such strong murderous aura are either those with extremely firm will, or those who have powerful secrets, or like Gu Yanshui, have powerful magic weapons. Those with firm wills are the best among men. Those who have powerful secrets or magic weapons have strong luck and strong background. But Lin Moyu seemed to have none of them. He did not resist the murderous aura at all and let it invade him without any reaction. He looked more like a wooden man, a wooden man without mind and soul. Lin Moyu shook his head. It's not that I'm not afraid. It's just that this murderous aura is too weak. Gu Yanshui froze there. He thought of various possibilities, thinking that Lin Muyu might have secret methods or magic weapons that he didn't know. But he never thought that Lin Muyu would say that this murderous aura was too weak. Gu Yanshui's mouth twitched, Senior Lin, don't laugh, but the murderous aura of the Horned Dragon Star Lord. The Horned Dragon Star Lord is in charge of killing. Every time he appears in the world, he will bring endless killing. The murderous aura is so strong that even the other 27 Star Lords can rarely compare with him. Lin Muyu said, but he is really too weak. The big dragon on the altar was furious. Boy, do you know what you are talking about? The Star Lord slaughtered the world, and his murderous aura is unparalleled. It has accumulated from generation to generation. Who dares to say that he can beat the Star Lord in murderous aura? You dare to say that the Star Lord's murderous aura is weak? Have you ever seen anyone with a stronger murderous aura than him? Gu Yanshui also said, I have seen in the Holy Land's information that the murderous aura of the Horned Dragon Star Lord is indeed top-notch. Lin Muyu said, The murderous aura of the Horned Dragon Star Lord is indeed very strong, but it is not too weak for me. The big dragon snorted, You mean, your murderous aura is stronger than that of the Star Lord? Lin Muyu nodded, I think so. The big dragon was so angry that he laughed, you are just a little Tianzuan, but you dare to say that the murderous aura is stronger than Xingjuan. You are really a big talker. Then let me show you how strong Xingjuan's murderous aura is. Boom! A stronger wave of murderous aura descended, fence on the natives. 0121052294 Felu 200, 
130070, the light of Gu Nianchui's treasured clothes was almost broken, and Gu Nianchui was so scared that his face turned pale. Fortunately, two more origin crystals on the belt lit up in succession, and seven origin crystals sparkled, which blocked the murderous aura again. Ten origin crystals, now seven have lit up, and although the last three are stronger than before, Gu Nianchui also knows that as long as the murderous aura continues to increase, he can't block it for long. The big dragon shouted frantically, how about it, now you know you are afraid. The murderous aura now, even a high level Tianzuan may not be able to block it. Lin Moyu stood in the murderous aura, his voice calm, it's still too weak. Gu Nianchui was completely stunned. He really wanted to ask, Senior Lin, are you made of murderous aura? The big dragon roared, let you be stubborn. Boom. The murderous aura increased again. Gu Nianchui's treasured robe light almost broke again, he screamed, his face 503 paler. Fortunately, the eighth origin crystal lit up in time and saved his life again. He had no words to say, the big dragon was fighting with Lin Moyu, but no matter how he looked at it, he seemed to be a sacrifice. He really wanted to shout, two seniors, stop playing, and work hard on the inheritance. He was determined to get the inheritance before, but now he was thinking about whether he could save his life first. The big dragon shouted, what's the matter with the second time? Lin Moyu sighed, it's still too weak. Wow. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You must have some secret method. The big dragon screamed crazily, and the murderous aura was so strong that it was very scary. It can be said that only a few high-level Tianzuan could withstand it. Lin Moyu said, I also want to learn the secret method, but I don't know how to do it. I have a lot of murderous aura, but I can't control it. To be honest, I am also very interested in the inheritance of the Horned Dragon Star Lord. Gu Nianchui was not feeling well. He trembled and said, Senior Lin, don't scare me. Lin Moyu smiled and said, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just telling you the truth. I've also sworn that I won't compete with you for the Star Lord's inheritance. What I said just now was wrong. I'm actually not interested in the inheritance of the Horned Dragon Star Lord. I'm interested in the method of controlling the murderous aura of the Star Lord. Gu Nianchui's eyes turned, how about this? If I can get the inheritance of the Horned Dragon Star Lord, I'll tell you the method of controlling the murderous aura. And all the treasures in this secret treasure of the origin will be given to you. Lin Moyu looked at Gu Nianchui with great interest. He saw the changes of Gu Nianchui from the beginning to now. He saw him change from a very conceited and polite young master of the Holy Land to a young genius who seemed to be competitive but actually had ideas and wanted to show off. He gradually became what he is now and had to sincerely seek peace and even make a gamble. Lin Moyu naturally understood what Gu Nianchui meant. Gu Nianchui felt that he could not compete with him and even the soul oath could not bind him so he wanted to use ten methods to obtain the inheritance. At the same time, Gu Nianchui also expressed his meaning. What he wanted was inheritance, nothing else. Lin Moyu smiled, how can you be sure that I'm not bragging? Maybe if the murderous aura gets stronger, I won't be able to hold on. Gu Nianchui shook his head, I believe in my own spiritual perception. Senior Lin's strength is unfathomable. I don't want to gamble. Lin Moyu asked again, in addition to the inheritance, even the method of controlling the murderous aura in the inheritance belongs to me. Are you willing? Gu Nianchui said, I'm not unwilling. I think it's worth it. Lin Moyu smiled, I think it's worth it, but I have a request. Gu Nianchui said without hesitation, Senior, please speak. Lin Moyu said, you have to swear a soul oath. After leaving the secret storage, if you, your grandfather, and anyone from the Hans Wee Holy Land come to trouble me, you will die. Of course, you can also take a gamble and see if the soul oath will backfire if I get the inheritance. Can your grandfather kill me outside? Even if he kills me, will the star inheritance still be there? Gu Nianchui made a soul oath without much hesitation. However, he also had a plan and added a time limit to his soul oath, which was 10 years. 
After 10 years, this oath will automatically become invalid. If there is no time limit, Lin Moyu can provoke Hans We Holy Land at will in the future, but Hans We Holy Land cannot provoke Lin Moyu, otherwise he will die. Soul Oaths are magical. The Soul Oath of Tianzuan goes straight to the avenue and is very effective. After Gu Nianxue made the oath, he immediately asked, Senior Lin, do you think this is okay? Lin Moyu smiled and said, Yes, in this case, the inheritance belongs to you. He looked at the big dragon, Senior Jiao, I give up. The altar did not emit the light it should have, and the big dragon stared at Lin Moyu, You can't leave. Lin Moyu said, Senior Jiao, you set the rules, you can't go back on your word. I don't want to inherit, you can't force it on me, right? He knew the identity of the big dragon. As a kind of spirit, it must also act according to certain rules. Even if the rules can be changed, they can only be changed within a small range. The big dragon snorted, you can give up, but you have to show something convincing. You said your murderous aura is better than Qingjuan, show it to me. Lin Moyu sighed lightly, actually, there is no need for this. With my cultivation level, I am infinitely far behind Qingjuan. The big dragon said, now we are not competing for cultivation, but murderous aura. Don't talk nonsense, if you want to leave here, show your murderous aura. If you dare to lie to me, you will all die here today. The big dragon seemed to be really angry, with a pair of huge eyes staring at Lin Moyu and Gu Nianxue at the same time. If he can't be satisfied today, let alone the inheritance, neither of them will live. Gu Nianxue, who was standing aside, looked innocent. When the gods fight, mortals suffer, what a big deal. I just came here to get the inheritance, and I tried every possible way, but in the end, life and death are not in my hands. Even the inheritance depends on other people's faces. Gu Nianxue looked at Lin Moyu with a very resentful look, Senior Lin, please meet Senior Jiao's requirements. The big dragon also said either you show proof or die here. The murderous aura of the Star Lord is not something that anyone can insult. Lin Moyu was a little helpless, okay, since you must see it. Boom. A terrifying murderous aura surged from Lin Moyu's body, and the next breath it rushed straight into the sky. The horror of the murderous aura was indescribable. The murderous aura of the Horned Dragon Star Lord instantly turned back and was forcibly pushed back. Gu Nianxue only felt his whole body lighten, and the pressure on the treasure clothes was reduced several times. Originally, eight origin crystals had been lit, but now they quickly extinguished, and only four were lit. Lin Moyu's murderous aura was extremely huge, even in the home court of the Horned Dragon Star Lord, his murderous aura still took the initiative. Gu Nianxue was surprised and saw that Lin Moyu's murderous aura was scattered but not condensed. Although it was huge, it was indeed not condensed enough. In other words, Lin Moyu had an unimaginable huge murderous aura, but he could not use it to form an attack. However, having this level of murderous aura also made Lin Moyu ignore the murderous aura of the Horned Dragon Star Lord. Senior Lin, how many people have you killed? A thought surged in Gu Nianxue's mind, and then a strong chill surged from the depths of his soul. He realized that Lin Moyu was a killing god, a killer who had killed countless people. The Horned Dragon Star Lord was in charge of killing, and every time he appeared, he would kill countless people. But compared to Lin Moyu, it seemed like a small witch meeting a big witch. The big dragon hovering on the altar was completely stunned, and after a long while, he screamed, Why is your murderous aura so strong? How many people have you killed? How many people have you killed? Lin Moyu himself couldn't answer this question. And the people he killed were not necessarily people. It should be said that most of them were not people. Lin Moyu whispered, I can't count them. Now you can keep your promise and let me go. The big dragon stared at Lin Moyu, and his tone suddenly became softer, you really don't want to think about it again. With your murderous aura, if you get the secret method of the Star Lord again, Lin Moyu shook his head, I am not suitable for the Star Lord's path. I have my own way to go. Besides, I value my promises very much. 
I must do what I promised to others. Thank you for your kindness, senior. This inheritance is not for me. The big dragon asked again, are you really not going to consider it again? This is the inheritance of the horned dragon star lord, the supreme inheritance of the 28 star gods. It is also the top existence on the origin continent, enough to be on par with the inheritance of any land. Lin Moyu shook his head, thank you for your kindness, senior. I have made up my mind. The big dragon had no choice but to follow the rules. Okay then. Some things cannot be forced. Even if its power is stronger than Lin Moyu, Qian Hao, it cannot force Lin Moyu to accept the inheritance. A beam of light shot out and fell on Lin Moyu, and Lin Moyu disappeared in the altar. The scene in front of Lin Moyu changed. In a blink of an eye, he had left the origin secret treasure and returned to the cave. There was an origin crystal in his hand, a fine fifth level origin crystal. This was the reward given by the big dragon. Fellow Taoist Lin, you came out too. So fellow Taoist Lin is safe and sound, that's great. Miao Wana and Lian Cheng's voices came, with surprise in their tone, Lin Moyu could feel the sincerity. Lin Moyu smiled, lucky, nothing happened. Gu Nianhai asked from the side, is Nian Chui still in there? Lin Moyu nodded, when the junior came out, he was still in there. Gu Nianhai's eyes showed joy, so, the inheritance should belong to Nian Chui. It should be. Lin Moyu answered truthfully. It shouldn't be, now he is the only one, who else can I give it to if not to him? After a moment, the origin secret treasure suddenly moved and began to vibrate violently. Gu Nianchue's figure then appeared outside, and the origin secret treasure quickly shrank, and in the blink of an eye it was only the size of a fist, and fell into Gu Nianchue's hands. Gu Nianhai was overjoyed, and took a step forward and came to Gu Nianchue, how is it? Gu Nianchue smiled, I have fulfilled my mission. As he spoke, his breath surged, and a star appeared between his eyebrows. Then, a one-horned dragon flew out of the star and circled over Gu Nianchue's head. After circling for a while, the dragon returned to Gu Nianchue's eyebrows. What Gu Nianchue showed was the Star Lord mark. This also means that he has truly obtained the inheritance of the horned dragon Star Lord. Good, good, good. Gu Nianhai was overjoyed and shouted several times in a row. Even though he was a Taoist master, he could hardly suppress his excitement at this moment. Gu Nianhai said, you did a great job this time. You have made great contributions to Han's Wee Holy Land. Then he turned to look at Lin Moyu and the other two, you are not bad either. If you want to join Han's Wee Holy Land, I can accept you as a member. Lin Moyu smiled and said, thank you for your kindness, senior. I am used to freedom and not used to being bound. Miao Wan and Lian Chen also said at the same time, we are disciples of the Sin Fire sect and cannot join Han's We Holy Land. We can only thank you for your kindness. Gu Nianhai actually just said it casually because he was happy. Lin Moyu and the others were not stupid and would not agree. 983 Gu Nianhai said, in that case, let's go back. Returning along the original route, through the teleportation array, he returned to the Lan family in Linhai City. It was night time, the origin of the moon was shining in the sky, and the cool air enveloped the entire origin continent. Gu Nianhai's voice resounded throughout Linhai City, Linhai City's ban has been lifted and it has returned to normal. In an instant, the formation in the sky disappeared, and rays of light gushed out from Linhai City. Linhai City, which had been banned for many days, once again returned to its former appearance. At this time, Gu Nianchue said, Grandpa, my grandson still has some things to deal with, please wait a moment. Now Gu Nianhai has regarded Gu Nianchue as a treasure and will do anything for him. Gu Nianchue came to Lin Moyu and took out a storage ring. Senior Lin, this is what I promised you. Lin Moyu took the storage ring without hesitation and did not check it. With the soul oath, Lin Moyu was not afraid that he would give less. Gu Nianhai frowned. He didn't know what his grandson gave Lin Moyu, but he didn't stop him. 
He knew Gu Nianchui and knew that his grandson would act with propriety and would not do anything reckless. Lin Moyu put away the storage ring and said to Gu Nianchui and Miao Wen Lianchen, see you again. Gu Nianchui also nodded and said, Senior Lin, see you again if we are destined to meet. Dao Yu Lin, see you again if we are destined to meet. CJDG, visit the Sin Fire Sect if you have the chance. Lin Moyu turned into a stream of light and flew out of Lin Hai City, disappearing without a trace. Miao Wen and Lianchen also said goodbye and flew away from Lin Hai City without stopping for a moment. They didn't want to stay long in the presence of Gun Yanhai, the Taoist master. If they made him unhappy, they would be beaten and killed directly without any reason. After they left, Gun Yanchue sighed, Senior Lin is really mysterious. Gun Yanhai asked, Yanchue, what happened in the secret collection? Tell Grandpa. Gun Yanchue said softly, Grandpa, Yanchue made a decision privately. I hope you don't blame Yanchue. At this time, Gu Nianchui's voice changed, becoming clear and pleasant. At the same time, he was enveloped by a ball of light. When the light faded, Yin Nianchui had changed his appearance. He changed from a young master to a young girl. A young girl with long flowing hair and beautiful appearance. The precious clothes on her body also turned into an exquisite long skirt. Gu Nianhai said with a hint of pampering, no matter what happens, Grandpa will not blame Nianchue. It can be seen that Gu Nianhai dotes on his granddaughter. Gu Nianchue recounted the details of the secret treasure of the origin this time, and Gu Nianhai frowned. Gu Nianhai said, in other words, if Lin Moyu disagrees in the end, he should be the one to get the inheritance. Gu Nianchue nodded, that's right. Senior Lin's murderous aura was too shocking, even Senior Jiao was shocked. Senior Jiao asked Senior Lin how many people he had killed, and Senior Lin said he couldn't count them. Gu Yinhai frowned, it seems that this kid is very thoughtful. He doesn't want to offend our Hans Wee Holy Land, and he doesn't want to return empty-handed. Now you have the inheritance, and he has everything except the inheritance. It is estimated that it is also a windfall. And within ten years, we can't do anything to him. He is really calculating. Gu Nianchue's beautiful eyes flashed with light. Grandpa, do you still remember what the soul oath that Senior Lin made at that time was? Gu Nianhai asked curiously, why ask this? Gu Nianchue said, looking at Senior Lin's appearance at that time, I suspected that he had tampered with his soul oath. Impossible, no one can tamper with it in front of Grandpa. Gu Nianhai naturally didn't believe it. He was a dignified Taoist master. If Lin Moyu dared to tamper with it, he would definitely be discovered by himself. However, under the repeated requests of his precious granddaughter, Gu Nianhai still took out a jade stone. This jade stone has the function of recording images. When he came to investigate the Lan family before, Gu Nianhai had always turned on the recording function. When everyone made the soul oath before, Gu Nianhai did not close it. Unexpectedly, it really came in handy now. Soon found the soul oath made by Lin Moyu. I swear here that I will not take the initiative to participate in the battle for the inheritance of the Star Lord in the Origin Secret Treasure. If I violate this oath, my soul will be severely damaged and my cultivation will be destroyed. Gu Nianchue listened to it twice and whispered, at first glance, there is no problem, but if you analyze it carefully, there is a big problem. Gu Nianhai also tasted something wrong. It is indeed a little clever. Nianchue, tell me, what is the problem? Gu Nianchue analyzed, first of all, Senior Lin said that he would not take the initiative to participate in the battle for the inheritance of the Star Lord. Then if he really wanted to get the inheritance of the Star Lord, he could find me immediately after entering and kill me. At that time, the inheritance of the Star Lord had not started yet, so he did not break his oath. But this is only one of the reasons, there are others. Senior Lin said that if you break your oath, your soul will be severely damaged and your cultivation will be destroyed, not that you will die. Maybe Senior Lin has some way to restore his soul and his cultivation. We have such elixirs in our holy land, and Lin Qianwen may have them too. If that's the case, the soul oath actually has no binding force on Senior Lin. 
It all depends on whether he is willing or not. Gu Nianchue's analysis was very logical, and Gu Nianhai also smiled and said, Nianchue has grown up and is getting smarter. Gu Nianchue shook his head gently, my little tricks are far inferior to Senior Lin's. Fortunately, I didn't really provoke her this time, otherwise I might have died in the secret treasure. Gu Nianhai smiled and said, No, if he is really as smart as Nianchue said, then he wouldn't dare to kill you, after all, Grandpa is still outside. Gu Nianchue said, No, I think Senior Lin may have some tricks. Maybe he is not Grandpa's opponent, but he should have some tricks to save his life under Grandpa's hands. Gu Nianhai disagreed, My dear granddaughter, you think too highly of that kid. No matter how powerful he is, he is just a low-level Tianzuan. Gu Nianchue said, I'm not overestimating you, this is just my feeling. Grandpa also knows that my spiritual perception has always been very sharp and rarely makes mistakes. But rarely making mistakes does not mean never making mistakes. This time, maybe it was my spiritual perception that made a mistake. Gu Nianhai still maintained his own thoughts. Although he admitted that Lin Moyu was very good, it was not to this extent. Suddenly, Gu Nianhai thought of a possibility, my dear granddaughter, you are not attracted to that boy, are you? Gu Nianchue glared, Grandpa, if you say anything nonsense again, I will tell Grandma. Seeing his granddaughter take out the trump card, Gu Nianhai immediately retreated. He looked at his precious granddaughter with a smile, Okay, okay, let's not talk about this matter. Then what are you going to do to Lin Moyu? You have suffered a great loss. Gu Nianchue snorted lightly, of course I can't suffer a loss, but that is my grandson's own business, Grandpa, don't worry about it. Also, you are not allowed to use the power of the Holy Land to deal with him. I have sworn a soul oath. Gu Nianhai laughed, okay, okay, Grandpa won't deal with him, let Nianchue do it himself. After leaving Lenhai City, Lin Moyu spread the wings of the dead and did not hesitate to consume soul power to increase the speed to the extreme. Although he asked Gu Nianchue to swear a soul oath, God knows whether the Holy Land has any means to circumvent the soul oath. Lin Moyu never dared to underestimate the Holy Land. What he can do, the Holy Land may not be unable to do. If Gu Nianhai chases after him, facing the Dao Zun, he may be in danger if he is not careful. Lin Moyu moved at the fastest speed and changed his position several times to hide his tracks. He was finally relieved when he was sure that no one was chasing him. Lin Hai City's sphere of influence exceeded 10,000 miles, and there were some small sects nearby. Several sects were two-star forces. More sects were not even one-star forces because they did not have the origin spirit vein. On the origin continent, without the origin spirit vein, one was not qualified to evaluate the star level of the power. These self-proclaimed sects were actually formed by several villages united together. The strength of the practitioners in them was also very weak, perhaps only one or two supremes. The significance of their existence was not like a sect, but more like a school, providing enlightenment education for the younger generations of several villages. If one day, a genius could emerge in the village, perhaps the whole village would be able to rise to prominence. Thousands of miles northwest of Lenhai City, there was another city called Guanhai City. Guanhai City and Lenhai City were thousands of miles apart and had many frictions. In the middle of the two cities, there was a small mountain range called Ruhai Mountain Range. A small origin spiritual vein was once discovered in the mountains. The forces of the two cities had clashed over this small spiritual vein. At that time, Lenhai City was still presided over by the Fong family, which was much stronger than the Lan family. There were four high-level Tianzuan in the family alone, and there was also a peak Tianzuan. In the end, the Fong family won and took control of the origin spiritual vein, and Guanhai City and Lenhai City also had a grudge because of this. The Fong family wanted to use this origin spiritual vein to be promoted to a four-star force, but a hundred years ago, the Fong family suddenly became extinct. The Fong family disappeared, and Lenhai City was leaderless. Even the strongest Lan family could not fight against Guanhai City. 
not only Guanhai City, but also several forces wanted to attack Linhai City. Without the Fong family, Linhai City would be a big piece of delicious fat meat. The Lan family was very smart and reported the strange extinction of the Fong family to the Hansui Holy Land as soon as possible. Someone from the Hansui Holy Land came to investigate the strange extinction of the Fong family. No one knows the result of the final investigation. The Water Holy Land finally appointed the Lan family as the life of Linhai City. It is precisely because of this that several forces that were about to attack Linhai City have stopped their efforts. The Cold Water Holy Land is like an emperor in this area. No one dares to violate their orders unless they are tired of living. In this way, the Lan family has a chance to breathe. With the resource supply of Linhai City, as long as the Lan family is given enough time, they can grow up. Thousands of years later, when several high-level Tianzuan appear in the family, their position will be completely stable. There is a lot of difference between having resources or not. After changing direction several times, Lin Moyu arrived at Guanhai City. There was no rosy glow in Guanhai City like in Linhai City to welcome people into the city. The whole city exuded an ancient and vast atmosphere with a sense of heaviness. Although Linhai City also had a similar feeling, it was far less than Guanhai City. From this, it can be judged that the history of Guanhai City should be much longer than that of Hai City. In addition, the scale of Guanhai City is also larger than that of Linhai City, almost one and a half times the size of Linhai City. There was a formation covering the sky above Guanhai City, and there were teams patrolling day and night. No matter where the whole city was in trouble, they would rush there as soon as possible to maintain public order in the city. Lin Moyu came to the largest restaurant in Guanhai City, ordered a few dishes, asked for a pot of wine, and ate slowly. It seemed that he was eating and drinking, but he was collecting information at the same time. There were many people in the restaurant, and a lot of information could be obtained from their mouths. Suddenly, the whole city roared, a huge formation appeared in the sky, and a huge team flew over and flew into the distance. There are many strong people in this team, and the number of Tianzans is more than 20. Among them, there are three high-level Tianzans in the front. The huge movement immediately caused everyone to discuss. Please give me flowers, zero. My goodness, it's the Huang family's team, led by the three high-level Tianzans of the Huang family. The Huang family's large team is going out. Judging from the direction, they are going to Linhai City. Just received news that the Holy Land has imposed a punishment, and the Lan family of Linhai City has been destroyed. At this moment, Linhai City has become a city without a master. I understand that the Huang family wants to take this opportunity to occupy the Linhai area. A hundred years ago, if it weren't for the appointment of the Holy Land, Linhai City should have belonged to the Huang family. With the strength of the Lan family, they are not worthy of becoming the master of Linhai City, and they have occupied an original spiritual vein in vain. It's hard to say. The surrounding forces are all watching. If the Huang family wants to become the new master of Linhai City, they still need to fight. Lin Moyu listened and finally knew what happened. The Huang family of Guanhai City is the most powerful family in Guanhai City and the master of Guanhai City. It was the Huang family that competed with the Fong family of Linhai City for the origin of the spiritual vein. Unfortunately, the Fong family was stronger than the Huang family, so the Huang family did not take advantage. Later, the Huang family was extinct, and the Holy Land appointed the Lan family as the new master of Linhai City. They did not dare to disobey the order of the Holy Land, so they never took action against Linhai City. At this moment, all the strong men of the Lan family in Linhai City died, and they were no longer qualified to become the master of Linhai City. At the same time, the Hansui Holy Land did not appoint a new master. The Huang family finally seized the opportunity and sent troops to Linhai City to take down Linhai City in one fell swoop. According to the rules of the Origin Continent, in this case, whoever can occupy Linhai City can become the new master of Linhai City. There are also if the Origin Spiritual Vein is successful, the Huang family will have more Origin Spiritual Veins and more resources, which also means strong luck. 
At that time, it is very likely that a Taoist master will appear in the Huang family and become a four-star force in one fell swoop. The Huang family has been at the top of the three-star force for a long time, and it only needs a Taoist master to be promoted to a four-star force. But the Huang family is not infallible. In the 10,000 miles around Linhai City, in addition to the Huang family in Guanhai City, there are two other forces eyeing it. Their situation is similar to that of the Huang family. They all want to get the origin spiritual vein of Linhai City. Next, with Linhai City as the center, a fight between dragons and tigers will be staged. Maybe Linhai City will be smashed to pieces, with countless casualties. Those forces only want the origin spiritual vein. What Linhai City looks like and whether the people inside are alive or dead is not important to them. The actions of the Hansui Holy Land made Lin Muiyu deeply understand the survival rules in the origin continent. A small family like the Lan family is nothing in front of a giant like the Holy Land. If Lan Tianyu had not done something too excessive, the Hansui Holy Land would not have done anything to the Lan family. At most, it would have killed the chicken to scare the monkeys. If Lan Tianyu had not disappeared, it is estimated that the Lan family would not have been in trouble. At most, they would have been severely punished and two Tianzuan would have died. At least there would be no disaster of genocide. But Lan Tianyu disappeared, which was like a slap in the face of the Hansui Holy Land. Everyone was watching how the Hansui Holy Land would deal with it and how it would regain its face. So the Hansui Holy Land used the most direct method, the Lan family. While destroying the Lan family, it accidentally obtained the inheritance of the Horned Dragon Star Lord. The Lan family is guilty of holding a treasure and seeking death. Their luck and strength are not enough to awaken the inheritance of the Horned Dragon Star Lord, and the Hansui Land will not allow them to obtain the Star Lord inheritance. Every Star Lord is powerful, and the Hansui Holy Land will not allow a force that is out of control to appear in its territory. So, the Lan family was destroyed. The news that the Hansui Holy Land has inherited the Jiao Jiao Star Lord has not been spread. Few people know this news. The people of the Hansui Holy Land will not say it themselves. As long as I don't say it, and Miao Wen and Lian Cheng don't say it, no one will know it. I believe that Miao Wen and Lian Cheng are smart people, and they won't talk nonsense. The Jiao Jiao Star Lord is in charge of killing. Every time he appears in the world, he will trigger murderous intent. It seems to be true. The Lan family is not lucky enough and can't afford this murderous intent, which will lead to the disaster of killing and extermination of the family. Now it's Lin Hai City's turn. It is estimated that many people will die. I don't know whether Gu Nianxue will slaughter the world after becoming a Star Lord. Lin Moyu pondered in his heart that the concept of luck was not illusory, but real. For a force, those with weak luck will inevitably encounter great disasters. Unfortunately, not many people can feel the Qi method. Even Lin Moyu could not clearly feel the luck. At most, he could see the individual luck of the living creatures through the explosive luck technique. And luck only concerns individuals, while luck is a step further, concerning the entire force, sect, and even the entire race. If the luck of a force is strong enough, even if an unlucky person enters, his luck will be enhanced and become lucky. This is the magic of luck, suppressing one side. The luck of the holy lands of all parties must be extremely strong, and Gu Nianxue's luck will definitely not be bad, and he will definitely be able to withstand the inheritance of the Star Lord. As for the Lan family, they are simply looking for death. Lin Moyu sees much more deeply than ordinary people, unraveling the mystery and looking for the correct answer. If you want to gain a foothold in the origin continent, in addition to your own strength, you must also have the origin spiritual vein. In addition, you also need a strong enough luck. Xiao Wu comprehended the law of luck, which can gather luck and enhance luck. It seems that it is time to let Xiao Wu come over. After thinking for a while, Lin Moyu paid and left the restaurant, and also left Guanhai City. Lin Moyu went southwest, getting farther and farther away from Guanhai City and Linhai City, until he came to a place where he could hear the sound of the waves. 
Perhaps because he came from the world of the Boundary Sea, Lin Moyu had a special feeling for the Boundary Sea. Feeling the breath of the Boundary Sea, Lin Moyu felt more at ease. The eye of the undead swept over and chose a cliff without any living creatures. The world of rules opened, and Lin Moyu called Xiaoyuan and Xiaoye out. Stepping on the land of the Origin Continent, a strong wind swept in, and countless breaths belonging to the Origin Continent were automatically injected into Xiaowu's body. The Origin Continent wanted to leave a mark on Xiaowu. The big world began in the Origin world and grew in the Boundary Sea. Its laws and rules all came from the avenue of the Origin Continent. So as long as it is a living being in the big world, it can be recognized by the Origin Continent. However, many spells need to integrate the Origin Crystals in the Origin Continent to adapt. Wow, is this the Origin Continent? Xiao Wu didn't look as steady as a heavenly venerable should, and still looked like a child. Xiao Yu, who was standing next to him, looked much more stable than Xiao Wu. Xiao Wu came to the Origin Continent for the first time, and was so curious that she even forgot to hang on Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu took out a fine fifth level origin and handed it to Xiao Wu, use it to fuse your law. Xiao Wu comprehended the law of luck, pure power of emptiness. And because of Xiao Wu's special identity, Xiao Wu herself did not have any magic. Xiao Wu's ability was to simply manipulate the law of luck, which could enhance or weaken it. The more common method was to make people lucky or unlucky. Xiao Wu only needed an origin crystal to adapt her own law of luck to the big world and even directly connect to the avenue of luck on the origin continent. This fine fifth level origin crystal was the last reward given by the big dragon in the origin secret collection and Lin Moyu gave it to Xiao Lu without any hesitation. Xiao Wu was very obedient and began to fuse the origin crystal. Lin Moyu was Xiao Wu's guardian and he began to check the harvest at the same time. This time, a total of 32 high-quality 4th-level origin crystals were obtained, which was a considerable fortune for any Tianzuan. It can be said that most low-level Tianzuan could not afford so many high-quality 4th-level origin crystals. In addition, there were two corpses of low-level Tianzuan and Qin Huayuan, the resurrected person. For others, these were useless things, but for him, they were good things. Whether it was a resurrected person or a corpse, as long as it was used well, it could be of great use. The last one was the storage ring obtained from Gu Yanshui. After coming out of the origin secret storage, Lin Moyu was afraid that the Hansui Holy Land would chase him, so he did not stop and did not even check the storage ring given by Gu Hansui. Lin Moyu did not take it lightly. He summoned the number one legion commander and asked the number one legion commander to take the storage ring and open it from a distance. Xiaoye turned into a curious baby and looked at the number one legion commander. Master, what is this? Lin Moyu said, it's just a battle squad summoned by magic. Xiaoye asked curiously, can I learn it too? Lin Moyu shook his head, I can't learn it. Xiaoye's little face was slightly disappointed, oh. Lin Moyu said, don't forget what the master said, everyone has his own path, his own way. Xiaoye asked, then what is my path like? Lin Moyu said, practice well and feel your own path with your heart. Xiaoye seemed to understand, but still responded very obediently. The number one legion commander opened the storage ring and nothing happened. Lin Moyu 0.5 frowned slightly, Shi Nianxue didn't do anything? Based on his understanding of Gu Nianxue, he felt that Gu Nianxue should do something. But the other party did nothing, which was a bit surprising. But just in case, Lin Moyu still didn't do it himself, but asked the number one legion commander to take out the things in the ring directly. A large number of origin crystals poured out from the ring and piled up into a small mountain. They were all high-quality origin crystals, both fourth and fifth level, adding up to hundreds of them. Not to mention for individual practitioners, even for a small force, it was a huge fortune. Perhaps many four-star forces could not afford so many origin crystals. Xiaoye's eyes lit up. Wow, so many origin crystals. Boom. With a loud noise, a cliff not far away suddenly collapsed, and a strange-shaped giant beast rushed out of the cliff and rushed towards the origin crystals. 
The giant beast rushed out, and even Lin Moyu was slightly stunned. He had used the Eye of the Dead to look before, but he didn't find the existence of the giant beast. Unexpectedly, he still missed it. It seems that the Eye of the Dead can't be trusted. Lin Moyu knew that the power of the origin can block the Eye of the Dead, so sometimes the Eye of the Dead will fail. The giant beast has a strange body shape, looking like a leopard, but with four huge tentacles on its back, it looks like some kind of insect. It was hiding inside the mountain before, and was awakened by the breath of the origin crystal, and rushed directly towards the origin crystal. The origin crystal has a great attraction to the creatures on the origin continent. Especially with so many fine origins, the attraction is unimaginable. The number one legion commander reacted very quickly. Before Lin Moyu gave an order, he had already swung his sword. The huge force swept out and directly blasted the giant beast away. The giant beast stopped in midair and screamed and rushed over again. Taking advantage of this opportunity, the number one legion commander had already put all the origin crystals back into the storage ring. Seeing the origin crystal disappear, the beast screamed even more frantically, and its four tentacles stretched out quickly, whipping like whips. Legion Commander Number 129 was not afraid at all and waved his sword to launch a death charge. He was as fast as lightning and knocked the beast away again. Lin Moyu had already seen that the beast's power was slightly stronger than that of a low-level Tianzuan, but slightly weaker than that of a mid-level Tianzuan. In terms of combat power, Legion Commander Number 1 completely suppressed it and the beast had no power to resist. But its defense was extremely strong and even the attack of Legion Commander No. 1 could only cause some minor wounds. Xiaoya's beautiful eyes flashed, Master's summons are so powerful. Lin Moyu said, No. 1, stop playing and make a quick decision. Yes, Master. Legion Commander No. 1 responded. The next second, the rule world belonging to Legion Commander No. 1 unfolded. In his rule world, there was a war world like a cemetery, and countless dragon cavalry soldiers rested in the war world. At this time, the battle world was opened, and the dragon knight army woke up instantly and rushed out of the battle world. In an instant, the dragon knight army was flooded in all directions. In the sky and on the ground, every corner was filled with dragon knights. Each dragon knight army had the combat power of a low-level Tianzuan. They were about 10 meters in size, and if necessary, they could reach a size of 10,000 meters. The number one legion commander had his own ideas. To deal with a mere giant beast, he didn't need to release all the dragon knights. He only dispatched one ten thousandth of the 10 million dragon knights. Only a thousand dragon knights had already surrounded the surrounding area. The giant beast was surrounded by the dragon knights, three layers inside and three layers outside. There were countless layers. The surrounded giant beast was stunned on the spot, its hair stood on end, and there was obvious fear in its eyes. Xiao Ye was also stunned, Master, is this also your summon? Lin Moyu smiled, these are its subordinates. Xiao Ye was surprised, how can there be so many? Is this a lot? It's only one ten thousandth, okay? And this is only the number one legion commander. There are two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine of the same legion commander. Lin Moyu smiled and didn't answer. Now Xiao Wu is still fusing the origin crystal, otherwise the little guy will definitely betray himself. The whole body of the giant beast suddenly glowed, and the bright light rushed into the sky, reflecting the sky in colorful colors. At the same time, the piercing scream resounded through the world. Xiaoye screamed and covered her ears. Xiaoye is just an ordinary person now, and she can't bear any aftermath of the battle. Lin Moyu waved his hand, and a force enveloped Xiaoye, helping Xiaoye block the sound. The invisible force spread from the giant beast in all directions like waves, and it unexpectedly prevented the dragon cavalry from getting close. Is this a call for help? Lin Moyu thought to himself. His thoughts were soon confirmed, and a strong breath approached quickly from a distance. High-level Celestial Venerable Lin Moyu looked up and saw a giant beast with a body of one kilometer in the sky in the distance approaching quickly. 
It was covered with scales, slender, very strong, and had an indescribable beauty. The number of tentacles on its body increased to 16, each of which was extremely thick. Under the right abdomen, there were two pairs of sharp claws, flashing sharp light. The breath of the high-level celestial venerable rolled over like an overwhelming force. Lin Moyu was a little helpless. It was really that after beating the small one, the old one came. The number one legion commander could not beat the high-level celestial venerable. Even if all the millions of dragon riders were dispatched, it would be difficult to compete with the high-level celestial venerable head-on. At best, he could only trap the opponent for a while, and he would be killed sooner or later. Moreover, the opponent's combat power was unknown, and he might even be better than the ordinary high-level celestial venerable. Before Lin Muyu gave the order, the number one legion commander had already met him. More dragon riders rushed out, led by a captain, and launched a death charge towards the rushing beast. Bang! Amidst the huge crash, the dragon riders collapsed on the spot, but the giant beasts were unaffected. They rushed into the encirclement like a broken bamboo, firmly protecting the smaller giant beasts as if they were protecting their children. The difference in strength between the two sides was obvious. Leader number one reacted quickly and summoned more dragon riders again to surround them tightly. Lin Moyu moved his mind, and Cheng Hongguan appeared beside him. Lin Moyu asked, Do you know these two guys? Cheng Hongguan looked over and immediately responded, I know them. Tell me in detail. Cheng Hongguan said, They are called Lingxiu Worm Beasts, a kind of original spirit beast. Original spirit beast? Lin Moyu was shocked. Are they the original spirit beasts that can breed and evolve the original spirit veins? Cheng Hongguang nodded, yes. Wow, I can actually meet the original spirit beasts here. Lin Moyu took a deep breath and could only sigh that he was really lucky. It's rare to see the origin spirit beast, but he can actually meet it, and there are two of them in one day. Xiao Ye was very curious about this uncle who suddenly appeared, Master, what is the origin spirit beast? Lin Moyu smiled and said, Cheng Hongguang, you explain it. Cheng Hongguang knew that he was speechless. The origin spirit beast is a very rare spirit beast that can evolve the origin spirit vein every time it appears. Cheng Hongguang explained it very carefully, and no matter what Xiao Ye asked, he 657 knew everything. Lin Moyu first learned about the origin spirit beast from Shu Eiji Tianzuan. If you want to gain a foothold in the origin continent and create a sect, you need the origin vein. There are many ways to produce the origin spirit vein, such as the origin crystal with spirituality, the origin spirit vein bred by the natural world, and the origin spirit vein bred by some super sects using secret methods. There is also one kind, which comes from the origin spirit beast. There are countless spirit beasts on the origin continent, and there is an origin spirit beast among them. Origin spirit beasts are very rare. They will breed origin spirit veins in some special circumstances and under some special conditions. Many people will never see an origin spirit beast in their lifetime. But once an origin spirit beast is discovered, it will inevitably become the target of competition among all parties. Lin Moyu did not expect that he would actually encounter an origin spirit beast. There are many kinds of origin spirit beasts, and each origin spirit beast needs to meet different conditions. Cheng Hongwang knows the conditions of the Lingxiu insect beast in front of him. Lingxiu insect beast likes to eat origin crystals. As long as it eats enough origin crystals, it will undergo metamorphosis. When it metamorphoses, it will leave the old shell and breed a new shell. When the old shell sinks into the earth, it will breed an origin spirit vein. The stronger the Lingxiu insect beast is during metamorphosis, the better the quality of the origin spirit vein it breeds. Looking at the two Lingxiu insect beasts, one big and one small, Lin Moyu has made up his mind that he must keep these two guys and never let them go. Original spirit beasts are really good things. We must find a way to keep them. If we miss them this time, we don't know when we will meet them next time. But how can we keep them? We can't kill them. It's a bit of a headache. The small one is easy to say. 
It is not as powerful as a mid-level Tianzuan. Lin Moyu has a way to trap it. But the big one has a combat power comparable to a high-level Tianzuan. It is easier to kill it, but it is difficult to trap it. Lin Moyu looked at Cheng Hongwang. Do you have a way? Cheng Hongwang said very straightforwardly, I can die with the big one. Bullshit, do I need you to die together? Lin Moyu snorted, I mean, is there any way to trap it? Cheng Hongwang thought about it and said very straightforwardly, no. At this time, the spirit beard insect beasts were rampaging, and the encirclement formed by the dragon riders was like a balloon with bulges everywhere, which could burst at any time. A large number of dragon riders died under the attack of the spirit beard insect beast. Its spirit beard contains amazing original power, and the dragon rider army is difficult to resist. However, the number one legion commander is very powerful. He constantly adjusts the formation and attacks it. It cannot be determined for the time being. Lin Moyu squinted his eyes. He found that the spirit beard insect beast had been protecting the little spirit beard insect beast and did not want it to be hurt. An idea gradually came into his mind. At this time, Xiaoya's weak voice sounded, Master, it seems to care about its children. If we can trap its children, can we trap it? Lin Moyu laughed. Xiaoye is right. It is indeed possible. What Xiaoye said coincided with what he thought. If he didn't kill them, he had to trap them. This was the only way. Lin Moyu had already thought of a way and said to Cheng Hongwang, separate them. Cheng Hongwang said nothing and turned into a flash of lightning and rushed into the battlefield. He is a high-level Tianzuan, and his combat power is much better than that of the Dragon Rider army. The power of the high-level Heavenly Venerable exploded, and it fought with the spiritual bearded insect beast. The spiritual bearded insect beast was very powerful, and Chang Hongwang could not do anything to it, so Chang Hongwang was not just talking when he said that he could die with the other party. The big spiritual bearded insect beast had to protect its children, so it was a little restrained, and it could not do anything to Cheng Hongwang for a while. Lin Moyu said to the number one corps commander, help Cheng Hongwang and expose them both. The number one corps commander immediately began to wander around the battlefield. He did not let the Dragon Rider Corps take action, but he took ten captains to look for opportunities. In the Dragon Rider Corps, only he and the ten captains were mid-level heavenly venerables, and they could still resist the attacks of the spiritual bearded insect beast. At this time, the benefits of being smart were fully revealed. After being smart, they would think about countermeasures and formulate action plans according to Lin Muyu's orders. Without the need for Lin Muyu to manipulate and command step by step, the methods of fighting were much more flexible. However, the big spiritual bearded insect beast was very alert and never revealed any flaws. Lin Moyu's mind moved, and he suddenly pointed at the spirit beard insect beast. Origin level magic, time curse. Time curse, this level invoked the avenue of time, used the power of time as a blade, cursed the target, and caused the target's soul to be severely damaged and fall into a state of time chaos. The avenue of time suddenly appeared. This was the first time that Lin Moyu used the time curse in the origin continent. The avenue of time dropped infinite power and cursed the target according to Lin Moyu's will. The power of time turned into a blade and cut into the soul world of the spirit beard insect beast. The souls of the two soul insect beasts, one big and one small, were affected and fell into a state of chaos. Separate them now. Lin Moyu's will was issued, and Cheng Hongwang and the number one legion commander had seized the opportunity and acted at the same time. With the strength of the big spirit beard insect beast, the effect of the time curse would last at most half a second. They only had a moment of opportunity. The number one legion commander launched a death charge, hitting the big spirit beard worm beast with lightning speed. Cheng Hongwang also used all his strength to evolve the great palm of heaven and blasted it. With the combined efforts of the two, the big spirit beard worm beast was finally shaken away, and the small spirit beard worm beast was immediately exposed. 
At this time, the ten captains of the number one Dragon Rider Legion rushed over, their bodies quickly grew larger, and they grabbed the small spirit beard worm beast back with all their might. At this moment, the small spirit beard worm beast was still in a state of time confusion and had no idea what was happening. The star charm lich flew out, and Lin Muyu simultaneously ejected a drop of ancestral water and landed on the star charm lich. The star charm lich's aura surged, and it used the great Tao of illusion to wrap up the small spirit beard worm beast. The illusion in front of the small spirit beard worm beast was reborn, as if it saw countless origin crystals, and it screamed excitedly. Lin Muyu's rule world unfolded, and the small spirit beard worm beast rushed directly into the rule world. The countless origin crystals it saw were inside. The big spirit beard insect beast reacted and rushed over quickly, but when it approached the rule world, it hesitated. Lin Muyu smiled and said, if you want to save your child, go in. Lin Muyu's plan is to lead the two of them into his rule world and use the rule world to trap them. The rule world is his home court, and he will have the final say at that time. Cheng Hongwang and the legion leaders surrounded from the other side to prevent the big spirit beard from escaping. Lin Muyu wanted both spirit beard insect beasts and didn't intend to let go of either one. The big spirit beard insect beast was still hesitating. It seemed that it was a little afraid to go in, but its eyes were very anxious, afraid that something would happen to its child. At this time, a scream came from the rule world. It was a cry for help, exactly the same as the cry for help from the little spirit beard insect beast before. The big spirit beard insect beast heard the cry for help from his child, and finally couldn't help it and rushed over. Lin Moyu had seen clearly that although the spirit beard insect beast had some wisdom, it was not much wisdom. The road is fair. It gives you extremely powerful abilities, but it will reduce some other things. In the world of rules, there is a special planet in the starry sky, turning there alone. The planet is barren and there is nothing. There is also nothing within 100,000 light years around the planet. On the planet, a spirit beard insect beast with a body size of less than 100 meters is happily eating the origin crystal. This time it is not an illusion, but a real origin crystal, which Lin Moyu gave it to eat. Although it is only an ordinary first level origin crystal, the spirit beard insect beast is not picky at all, as long as there is something to eat. It was eating happily, and suddenly a hole appeared in the starry sky, and the big spirit beard insect beast flew in. The little spirit beard insect mother sensed the breath of her mother and called happily, as if to say hello, asking it to come and eat together. Seeing that her child was safe and had origin crystals to eat, the big spirit beard insect beast couldn't help but show a puzzled look, how could there be such a good thing in the world? In its memory, every time it appeared, it would be chased and beaten by a group of people, good money. Just when it was confused, Lin Muyu's voice suddenly sounded, can we communicate? Turning around to see Lin Muyu, the big spirit beard insect beast immediately became alert and showed a fierce look towards Lin Muyu. Lin Muyu smiled slightly, don't be nervous, I don't want to do anything to you. If I really want to do something, you should know that you can't escape at all. As he said, Lin Muyu's heart moved and countless dragon riders appeared densely in the starry sky and the skeleton king also appeared. The big spirit beard insect beast suddenly exploded and began to roar sharply, as if warning. At this time, Chang Hongwang appeared beside Lin Muyu, and then the high-level Tianzuwen's insect mother also appeared. As soon as the insect mother appeared, it unfolded its final form and released a shocking breath. When the big spirit beard insect beast saw the insect mother, it immediately let out a terrified cry and kept retreating. So you are afraid of the Zerg? Lin Muyu chuckled and put away all the people and horses, and the starry sky instantly returned to tranquility. Lin Muyu continued to express his goodwill, I said, there is no malice. It was unexpected that the original spirit beast, which looked somewhat similar to insects, would be afraid of the insect race. But since they were afraid, that was a good thing, at least they knew how to deal with you. Now the two spirit beard insect beasts, big and small, were trapped in the world of rules. The next step would be easy, and it depended on how to influence them. 
Lin Moyu expressed his meaning again, I have no ill intentions. But the spirit beard insect beast obviously did not understand what Lin Moyu meant. There is no way to communicate. They have such strong abilities, but they don't have a spiritual calendar. It's really fair. This is too fair. The more gifted one is, the harder it is to awaken spiritual wisdom. This is the default rule. It was like this in the big world before, and it is still like this in the origin continent. Although it cannot communicate, the big spirit beast has calmed down. It landed on the star and stood beside the little spirit beard insect beast. Looking at its baby happily eating the origin crystal, it, as a mother, did not stop it. But it did not eat it itself. I don't know whether it despises these low-level origin crystals or remains vigilant. Lin Moyu thought about it and threw two exquisite fourth-order origin crystals over. The little spirit beard insect beast suddenly cheered, instantly changed its target, and began to eat the fourth-order origin crystals. The way the spirit beard insect beast eats the origin crystals is very special. It does not eat directly with its mouth, but uses its spirit beard to scrape some foam from the origin knot, and then puts these foams into its nose and sucks them in. There are some dense sharp teeth on the tip of their spirit beard, which can scrape powder from the origin crystal. However, the fourth order origin crystal is very solid, and only a little bit can be scraped each time, and one origin crystal can be eaten for a long time. The little spirit beard insect beast ate happily, and Lin spirit beard insect beast still did not move, it still resisted the temptation of the origin crystal. But Lin Moyu felt that it was already a little tempted. Lin Moyu thought about it, and took out another exquisite fifth level origin crystal and threw it to the big spirit beard insect beast. This time, it finally couldn't help it. Faced with the huge temptation of the exquisite fifth level origin crystal, it finally moved. That's right. Lin Moyu smiled slightly, you just need to eat it, I'm afraid you won't eat it. As the saying goes, people are soft-mouthed, as long as you eat it, the next thing will be easy. Those wild dogs and cats, when they were taken home, they were tamed little by little from this. Lin Moyu just wanted to tame them and let them use them for himself. Feed them with his own origin crystals, let them evolve and transform, and then breed the origin spirit veins for himself. It would be great if we could communicate. Lin Moyu thought of the spirit flower, but it was a pity that the spirit flower could only be used on members of the undead legion. Unless they were killed, turned into resurrected beings, and then nurtured with the spirit flower for a second time, they would be able to have spiritual intelligence. But in this way, it is hard to say whether the ability to nurture the origin spirit veins will be preserved. Nine times out of ten, the gains will outweigh the losses, and Moyu did not want to do this. Lin Moyu left behind ten fourth order origin crystals and ten fifth order origin crystals and turned to leave. This is his world of rules, no matter what happens, he will know it first. Here, he has enough power to control everything, and Ling Suyu could not make any waves. Back to the core area of the rule world, Lin Moyu counted the harvest under the world tree. There are only three things in the Origin Secret Collection, Murderous Aura, Inheritance, and Origin Crystal. The Murderous Aura and Inheritance belong to Gu Yinchue, and the Crystal belongs to Lin Moyu. In addition, there is a secret method that can manipulate the Murderous Aura. This secret method comes from the inheritance of the Horned Dragon Star Lord, called Breaking the Sky Slash. Its effect is to use the murderous aura to gather into a weapon. As long as the murderous aura is strong enough, the power of the gathered weapon is almost infinite, enough to break the sky. There are quite a few origin crystals in the origin secret collection, piled up into a small mountain, all of which are fine quality, and there are two types of fourth and fifth grades. Perhaps the level of the horned dragon star lord is too high, and he doesn't look down on those low-level origin crystals, even ordinary level origin crystals. At least the fine quality origin crystals can enter his eyes. There are 224th level origin crystals in total. Including the 32 crystals obtained by Lin Muyu himself and the 10 crystals left for the spirit bearded insect beast, Lin Muyu now has 242 crystals left. 
The fifth level origin crystals are less, with a total of 106 crystals left. This is a huge fortune. The Lon family of Linhai City can't take it out at all. Not to mention the Lon family, the Huang family of Guanhai City, which is 10 points stronger, can't take it out. Based on Lin Moyu's current understanding of the origin continent, it is difficult for forces below 5 stars to take out so many exquisite origin crystals. I'm really rich. Lin Moyu thought to himself, put away the origin crystals, and began to steady the skybreaking. There are two types of magic. One is the magic that you awaken during your practice, such as Lin Li's techniques of Moyu are naturally awakened by everyone and belong to the innate techniques. The other is learned later, not naturally understood. This is called secret techniques, such as the Dragon Clan soul dividing technique. Secret techniques can be techniques that form technique stars, or they can be just a method of use without forming technique stars. The Skybreaking Slash is a method of operating murderous aura, and it does not need to form technique stars. In fact, Many large sects have such secret techniques in their inheritance, and they can be mastered without forming technique stars. After everyone learns it, they can combine it with their own innate techniques to form their own combat system. Many people's innate techniques will have a mutual additive effect with the secret techniques they master after birth. The degree of fit between the innate techniques and the secret techniques sometimes affects the combat effectiveness of practitioners in the same realm. Mastering the skybreaking slash is very important to Lin. It was not difficult for Lin Moyu. After reading it a few times, he was already somewhat confident. Its first step is to refine the murderous aura and make it pure. The second step is to gather the murderous aura and gather it into a weapon. The weapon can be in various forms and changed according to the will of the user. The whole process is not complicated, but it takes some time. Lin Moyu multitasks. While refining his murderous aura, he also began to pay attention to the legion leaders who are building the rule world. After so many days, the rule world of these legion leaders has reached its end. The wise military cavalry corps is about to be born, and then the combat power of the dragon cavalry corps will be raised to another level. The overall combat power will surpass the skeleton king in one fell swoop and become the most powerful force in his hands. The origin continent, Nanjo, a vast area close to the southwest. There are countless forces here, and strong people are everywhere, but no matter which force it is, in the end, they will all be controlled by the Hans Wee Holy Land. Hans Wee Holy Land is the uncrowned king of this area, no matter how other forces fight or how strong they are. As long as Hans Wee Holy Land speaks, all forces in this area must obey orders. In Hans Wee Holy Land, Gu Nianxue, who was practicing the inheritance of Jiao Jiao Xingjuan, suddenly stopped. The beautiful eyes opened, revealing a bright light. Senior Lin, you finally opened the storage ring. Is the breaking heaven slash fun? This time, you can't run away. When you meet me again in the future, you will be surprised. Xiao Wu finally merged the origin crystal, and an illusory road emerged, and the law of luck completed the connection with the law of the road. Xiao Wu screamed, so this is the law of the road, it seems to be really stronger than the law of the galaxy. Lin Moyu was a little amused, the law of the galaxy is just a big world, which has obtained part of the power of the road, plus the things formed by its own evolution. The law of the road is originally stronger than the law of the galaxy, and it is not just a little stronger. Xiao Wu pouted, but the law of the road is so difficult to use, much more tiring than manipulating the law of the galaxy. Lin Moyu smiled, this is also natural. With stronger power, it will naturally be more difficult to manipulate. What's more, there are many restrictions and strict rules in the origin continent, and the consumption is naturally strong. But it doesn't matter. When Xiao Wu is stronger and fully adapted in the future, it will be fine. Xiao Wu nodded, okay, then I will try my best to adapt. When the master is free, take Xiao Wu with you and adapt more. Lin Moyu looked at Xiao Wu with a fake smile, I think you want to play outside. Xiao Wu stuck out her tongue, I've played enough in the big world, I also want to play in the origin continent. And I can be with Xiao Yu's sister, help the master take care of Xiao Yu's sister, 
Kill two birds with one stone. Lin Muyu touched Xiao Wu's head. You are right. Then I will give you a task now. Use the power of the avenue to see the general trend of luck. The law of luck has the ability to check the changes in the world's luck and find a feng shui treasure land through different luck. Xiao Wu asked, are there any specific requirements for living? Lin Muyu said, I want to find a feng shui treasure land with better luck in the origin continent. Xiao Wu's eyes turned, master plans to be a mountain king? Lin Muyu raised his hand and tapped Xiao Wu's head. What mountain king? That's called settling down. It can be called creating a Kia. Xiao Wu asked curiously, doesn't the master always like to be alone? Lin Muyu shook his head. The origin continent is not like the big world, and now I am not alone. I always need a place to stay. Also, I asked you to find it. Why are you talking so much nonsense? He knocked Xiao Wu's head hard again, making Xiao Wu scream, Don't knock, you will be stupid if you knock again. Xiao Wu covered his head and began to communicate with the avenue, and through the power of the avenue, he looked for the Feng Shui treasure land. The formation of luck is very complicated, even Xiao Yuan can't explain it clearly. Not to mention Xiao Wu can't explain it clearly, even those Dao Zun who also comprehend the law of luck may not be able to explain it clearly. The Feng Shui treasure land seen through the avenue now may become a deadly place due to some changes. It is also possible that there is a hidden murderous intention in some luck. This thing can only be seen roughly. Lin Moyu didn't ask Xiao Wu to find it now, he could only find a rough idea. When Xiao Wu communicated with the avenue, Lin Moyu took out a map. The map was obtained from Cheng Hongwang's legacy. The map records part of the terrain of Nanjo. The origin continent is too big, and Nanjo alone is ridiculously large. The terrain is dangerous and unpredictable. Cheng Hongwan's map only depicts about one-third of Nanjo. Fortunately, the situation nearby is included in the map. A strange breath rose from Xiao Wu's body, and her breath became hazy and illusory, as if she did not exist in this space. Xiaoye was surprised. Why do I feel that the lady seems to be looking at us from the sky? Lin Moyu smiled. That's right. This guy is now in the sky. Xiao Wu communicated with the avenue, turning the avenue of luck into her eyes, looking down on the world. Xiaoye didn't understand what Lin Moyu said, but this did not prevent her from flattering. The lady is so powerful. Lin Moyu said, you can do this in the future. Xiaoya flashed her big eyes. Is it really possible? As long as you don't be lazy. Xiaoya immediately raised her hand and swore, Master, don't worry, Xiaoya will never be lazy. After all, she is only a 15-year-old girl, and her character has not yet been completely settled. Before, because life was too hard, Xiaoya also became silent. After playing with Xiao Wu these days, her nature is gradually returning. Lin Moyu thinks it's good. Nature should not be suppressed, otherwise it will eventually be counterproductive and cause damage to the state of mind. After a while, Xiao Wu's breath fell back and ended the communication with the avenue. The first sentence she said after returning was an exclamation, Wow, the origin continent is so big, bigger than several galaxies plus ten. In the origin continent, because the space gate cannot be used, the speed is limited, and it becomes extremely difficult to cross. If it were in the big world, the distance of several galaxies, Lin Moyu would have passed through it long ago after opening the space gate once. Lin Moyu said, how much did you see? Xiao Wu said, I don't know how much there is, anyway, I didn't see the edge. Please give me flowers zero. Have you found the Feng Shui treasure land I asked you to find? Of course I have found it. I have never failed to do what my master asked me to do. Point out the specific location. Lin Moyu unfolded the map and put it in front of Xiao Lu. Xiao Wu looked at the map and compared it with what he had just seen and murmured, there is something wrong with this map. What's wrong? The terrain is wrong. There is this place and this place. There are obviously no mountains. There is also no lake here. Xiao Wu pointed at the map and shouted, pointing out more than a dozen errors in one breath. There are several mountains that are on the map, but they are actually gone. 
and there are several places that look like plains, but there are alpine lakes. Lin Moyu frowned, is the terrain changing so drastically? He had an idea and called Cheng Hongwang out, when was this map made? Cheng Hongwang thought for a while, about 5,000 years ago. In just 5,000 years, the terrain should not change so drastically. According to the experience in the big world, this kind of terrain change is often calculated in hundreds of thousands of years. Lin Moyu asked, but this map is a little wrong. Is the terrain change of the origin continent so drastic? Chang Hongwang said, in the origin continent, where there is no origin spiritual vein, the terrain changes greatly, and there will be obvious changes in a few hundred years. After Chang Hongwang's explanation, Lin Moyu understood why the origin spiritual vein must be there to establish a sect. On the origin continent, where the origin spiritual vein exists, the terrain can be stabilized. In other places without the origin spiritual vein, the terrain is unpredictable and it is impossible to settle down. The closer to the origin spiritual vein, the more stable it is. Cheng Hongwang pointed to a giant mountain range on the map and said, This is where the Hansui Holy Land is located. There is an 8th level origin spiritual vein under the Hansui Holy Land. This spiritual vein is extremely huge, spreading all the way from the Hansui Holy Land, occupying a radius of hundreds of millions of miles. Then he pointed to several other places where various sects were located, including many cities. These sects and cities are actually on the origin of the Hansui Holy Land. If there is no Hansui Holy Land, there will be no them. Lin Moyu completely understood that the reason why Hansui Holy Land can be called a Holy Land is that in addition to its own strong strength, it also has a terrifying 8th level origin of the spiritual vein. And most of the forces that depend on it actually rely on the spiritual vein of Hansui Holy Land. The 8th order origin spiritual vein of the Hansui Holy Land is like a dragon, winding out from under the origin continent, radiating up to hundreds of millions of miles. The entire origin spiritual vein has formed countless branches, each of which suppresses the mountains and rivers, forming a Feng Shui treasure land with stable terrain and abundant origin power. Six and cities have established their own forces on these branches. They rely on the Hansui Holy Land, so they naturally have to listen to the words of the Hansui Holy Land, otherwise they are looking for death. In addition to the origin power, the origin spiritual vein also contains luck. Therefore, the Huang family of Guanhai City really wants to include Linhai City under it. Not only for the extra section of the origin spiritual vein, but also for the Qi method in it. More spiritual veins mean strong luck. Luck will affect cultivation, and strong luck may allow the Huang family to give birth to a Taoist master. What the Huang family lacks now is a Taoist master. They have been thinking about becoming a four-star force for many years. Within the coverage of the 8th level spiritual vein of the 600 Hansui Holy Land, there are also some independent origin spiritual veins, which are occupied by various forces. These forces are not weak. Although they are not as good as the Hansui Holy Land, they also have powerful spiritual veins. There are also many forces attached to them, but they also have to obey the orders of the Hansui Holy Land, otherwise the Hansui Holy Land will teach them a lesson. Lin Moyu thought for a while, it seems that it is impossible to find a good place within the control of the Hansui Holy Land. Xiao Wu, is there any good place outside the coverage of the Hansui Holy Land spiritual vein? Xiao Wu nodded, let's see. As she said that, Xiao Wu marked the point she saw on the map. These places are all places with strong luck. Most of them already have owners, and only a few are ownerless. Lin Moyu thought for a while, then go and have a look, maybe we can find a suitable place. If we can find a place with strong luck, and it can also allow the spirit beard insect beast to transform and evolve to give birth to the origin spirit vein, we can settle down. The origin spirit vein can suppress luck, and luck can enhance the origin spirit vein. The two complement each other and are indispensable. Lin Moyu asked Cheng Hongwang, in the origin continent, if we want to obtain a piece of land where we can establish a sect, is there any other way? Lin Moyu was referring to the kind of method that does not involve fighting. 
He does not want to have a conflict with the local forces of the Origin Continent for the time being. Although he is not afraid, there is no need. Of course, if someone comes to provoke him, Lin Moyu will not be polite and will kill them if they should. Cheng Hongwang said, you can ask the Chamber of Commerce to buy it. Some large chambers of commerce occasionally sell land containing the Origin Spirit vein. Lin Moyu wondered, will the purchased territory not be attacked by others? Cheng Hongwang said, the purchased territory will be protected by the Chamber of Commerce for a certain period of time. Not only will the Chamber of Commerce protect it, but the original owner of the territory will also protect the buyer. Lin Moyu murmured to himself, it's really interesting that the territory of the origin of the spiritual vein can be bought and sold. He has realized the benefits of the resurrected and can get a lot of useful information from Cheng Hongwang. Although Chang Hongwang's memory is not complete, he still remembers most of the things. With Chang Hongwang, it is like having a dedicated tour guide on the origin continent, and many things will no longer be confusing. Lin Moyu selected several places, the journey is long, and calculated the distance. If the journey is smooth, it will take about a month to arrive. Lin Moyu thought about it and threw the calf out of the big world. The calf was sleeping soundly and was suddenly thrown to the origin continent. He fell to the ground with a bang, which scared the calf. Which bastard dares to disturb Uncle Neo's sleep? The calf shouted loudly, and the next moment, the breath of the origin continent poured into the calf's body from all directions. The calf lay there, unable to move. Xiaoya narrowed her eyes, Xiao Neo must be hurt by the fall. These days, she has not only become friends with Xiao Wu, but also with Xiaoxing. Xiao Wu said, it's okay, Niu Niu has thick skin and flesh, so it won't hurt if he falls like this. Xiao Ye said innocently, oh, it really doesn't hurt. Xiao Wu nodded seriously, don't worry, after all, he is the supreme, so it won't hurt me. Xiao Niu is now a high-level supreme being, so it really doesn't hurt much to fall like this. Until he got the recognition of the origin continent, Xiao Niu jumped up with a bang and was about to attack, but he saw Lin Moyu and others. The limbs were bent, and the whole body of the ox knelt in front of Lin Moyu with a bang, with a flattering face, it turned out to be you. Lin Moyu was not polite, and threw him two fourth-level exquisite origin crystals, saying, We are going far away, you will be Xiao Ye and Xiao Wu's mount. These two origin crystals will be integrated and absorbed while walking, no rush. Xiao Yo, is there any problem with this arrangement? How could Xiao Yo dare to have any objections and nodded his big head quickly, no problem, of course no problem, Bu Shang is the most obedient. Lin Mo Yu said, that's it, let's go. Xiao Wu happily pulled Xiao Yu to jump onto the back of the calf. The back of the calf was wide enough for two people to sit on. And the calf also generated a suction force, sucking the two people firmly on its back. No matter how bumpy it was, the two could be as steady as a mountain. Xiao Yu was just an ordinary person and couldn't walk too far. The calf was naturally the best mount. Xiao Wu asked curiously, Master, why don't you take us into the rule world and fly directly over? Lin Moyu said, I'm new here. I want to take a good look at the origin continent. Some things can only be believed by seeing them. There are several big cities along the way. You can also go and see them to broaden your horizons. Maybe there will be some opportunities halfway. When you are free, you can communicate with the avenue of luck and see if there is any place with strong luck. Let's try our luck. Xiao Lu laughed loudly. Okay, okay. Can you buy Xiao Wu something fun when we get into the big city? Lin Moyu smiled, of course, there are not only fun things, but also delicious food. As the group set off, Lin Moyu was doing two things at once, first he went to see the Beard Spirit Insect Beast. The two Beard Spirit Insect Beasts, one big and one small, were still eating the Origin Crystals. They were not eating fast, and they didn't even eat a single Origin Crystal, so they could still eat for a long time. Then Lin Moyu separated a consciousness and descended in front of the human emperor's body. The human emperor responded immediately, and the main body door opened, Master, how did you come here? Lin Moyu said, I have something to discuss with you. You say? 
The human emperor responded immediately. Lin Moyu looked at the various flashing and jumping mysterious instruments inside the human emperor's body and felt another mysterious atmosphere. The way of scientific and technological cultivation is very different from the orthodox way of cultivation, but it can still lead to the road. The road is unified, and let's talk about 2.2 casually. Lin Moyu told the human emperor about his idea, I want to find a suitable place in the origin continent to establish a sect and build my own power. When the time comes, I will find a way to let you go out, and I may need you to manage the sect. I feel good about this set of rules in the big world, and it can also be used in the origin continent. The human emperor said, the Rome master is always thinking about us, but it doesn't have to be like this. Lin Moyu shook his head, I am also selfish. If you want to cultivate to the highest point in the origin continent, you must have the blessing of luck. It will only become more and more difficult for a person to fight alone in the end. So establishing a sect is not only beneficial to you, but also to me. I will tell you everything I see and hear along the way for you to analyze the data. The human emperor was also very straightforward. In that case, we will obey the instructions of the realm master in everything. Lin Moyu had already told the human emperor about the situation on the origin continent and had formed a preliminary database. Now he told the human emperor about the new things he had learned. Not only that, he also brought Cheng Hongwang, Qin Hui Yuan, and other resurrected people directly to the human emperor. The human emperor could obtain a lot of information about the origin continent through them. Then, through the ability of the human emperor, he quickly sorted out a way to gain a foothold in the origin continent. In a few days, the human emperor had analyzed and sorted out a lot of information and provided it to Lin Moyu. It is not difficult to practice in the origin continent. The probability of becoming a heavenly venerable is extremely high. Even those with average talent can become a heavenly venerable as long as they have enough resources. There are two reasons for this. One is that there is a rich and complete inheritance on the origin continent. The perfect inheritance will not make people go wrong in their practice. The second is that there are enough rich resources, a large number of origin crystals, various cultivation treasures, and the two origins of the sun and the moon, which can provide enough power sources for practitioners. As long as you are not too unlucky or too stupid, there is always hope for the heavenly venerable. Even if you fail to become a heavenly venerable, you will have no problem becoming the supreme venerable. Therefore, there are many heavenly venerables and even more supreme venerables on the origin continent. But it is not so easy to become a Taoist venerable. To become a Taoist venerable, there are many thresholds to overcome, one of which is luck. After reading these materials, Lin Moyu thought of the heavenly venerables who went to the Sea of Boundaries to fight for the world. Each Sea of Boundaries world may seem inconspicuous, but in fact, it is also a force with huge luck. Finally, the formation of a world-class origin for the heavenly venerable to absorb and promote is also the role of luck blessing. What can make a heavenly venerable become a Taoist venerable is not only the power of the origin, but also the power of luck. To become a Taoist venerable, luck is an indispensable part. So Lin Moyu thought of building a force and gathering huge luck. Whether it is for himself or for the practitioners in the big world, it has a great effect. My idea should be correct, so most of the Taoizuan in the origin continent have big forces behind them. And there are very few Taoizuan who are independent cultivators. Even if there are, they are people with the Qi F.A. For example, the inheritance of the Horned Dragon Star Lord that Gu Nianxue obtained is, in a sense, a blessing of luck. In addition to inheritance and treasures, the most important thing in the inheritance of the Star Lord is luck. Lin Moyu understood that Gu Nianxue got not only the inheritance, but also the Qi F.A. belonging to the Star Lord. The Hansui Holy Land can become a holy land, and its luck is strong enough. Now with the inheritance of the Horned Dragon Star Lord, the luck will be even stronger. In addition, with the suppression of the 8th level origin spirit vein, Gu Nianxue's cultivation will definitely be smooth sailing, and his realm will improve day by day. It won't be long before a strong man will appear in the Hansui Holy Land again, a strong man who comes with killing. 
Lin Moyu was slightly alert in his heart. Ten years later, will the Hansui Holy Land come to settle accounts with him? After all, he has also cheated Gu Nianchui. We have to be on guard. Lin Moyu sighed. Although it was unwise to offend Hansui Holy Land, he would do the same if it happened again. If he was timid and hesitant, he would not be himself. After traveling for more than ten days, he was already far away from Guanhai City and Linhai City. Lin Moyu knew nothing about the news of the two cities, and he did not need to know. It was not important to him whether the Huang family became the new lord of Linhai City. They climbed over the mountains and came to the bank of a big river. This big river was called Hanjiang, and its source was the eighth-level origin spirit vein of Han's Wee Holy Land. The origin power in the river was boiling, and there were many origin spirit vein branches along the river. Many sects were built along the river, and they all relied on the origin of the Han's Wee Holy Land. However, there was an exception, and that was the Seven Color Sect. The Seven Color Sect itself had a huge origin of the spiritual vein. No one knew the specific level of this spiritual vein. Some people speculated that it was level 5, and some speculated that it was level 6. Many branches were divided from this spiritual vein. The seven branches of the seven color sect were built on seven of these branches. In addition, there were some small sects that also relied on the spiritual veins of the seven color sect. Although the Seven Color Sect had an independent spiritual vein, they still had to follow the lead of Hans Wei under the threat of the Hans Wei Holy Land. Xiao Niu took Xiao Wu and Xiao Yu into the river and went upstream. The two had a lot of fun in the river, and the laughter never stopped along the way. The few of them walked and stopped, and Xiao Yu did not neglect her homework. She practiced boxing three times every morning and evening. Xiao Yu's boxing skills improved day by day, and her soul realm also improved steadily. Lin Moyu felt that Xiao Yu's strength was improving rapidly. Originally, Lin Moyu expected that Xiao Yu would be able to break through to the super god realm in about one to two years. But now, Xiao Yu can reach the super god realm in at most five months. The reason for this is that Xiao Yu now carries a fine grade fifth order origin crystal with her when she practices. When Xiaoya practices boxing, the power of the origin crystal will automatically merge into her body, speeding up Xiaoya's practice. The effect is surprisingly good, and the practice speed has increased several times. Even many direct disciples of major forces do not have this treatment when practicing with a fine-grade fifth-order origin crystal. In addition to the origin crystal, there is another reason, that is, Xiaoya is born with a strong sense of power. The soul realm itself is high, and it is crystal clear, and there is no bottleneck in practice. Whether practicing or not, the jade soul absorbs the origin power in the origin crystal all the time, so Xiaoya's realm will be improved all the time. Lin Moyu also had to sigh, it's good to have resources. The moon was shining brightly, and Xiaoya started practicing boxing again by the cold river. With a cry, Xiaoya punched one after another, full of momentum. This set of boxing has been mastered by Xiaoya, but every time she practices, she will have a different feeling. As she continued to practice boxing, a little sweat appeared on Xiaoya's body, and a lot of impurities in her body were discharged with sweat. 690. Xiaoya felt as if she had touched a certain limit, as if something was blocking her. Master said that no matter what is blocking the way forward, you must smash it with your fists. Xiaoya's eyes were sharp, and she kept shouting, punching faster than a punch. At this moment, Xiaoya burst out with all her strength, and her boxing was faster than ever before. This the set of boxing techniques can be fast or slow, and can be performed as you like, regardless of right or wrong. Xiaoya's fist power is getting stronger and stronger, and the powerful fist force is blasted out like a cannonball, landing on the cold river, stirring up water splashes all over the sky. The water column rushed up dozens of meters, and then fell like raindrops. Xiaoya turned into a fairy in the rain, dancing in the rain. Finally, a light sound that only Xiaoya could hear came, and Xiaoya felt that the obstacles blocking her way forward were shattered, and her whole body felt suddenly enlightened. Then, she saw a star rising in her sight. 
For a moment, Xiaoye's eyes were like starry eyes, and the power of the moon fell, shining on Xiaoye and Xiaoye. Xiaoye was motionless, and an illusory figure appeared above her. This figure began to practice boxing under the illumination of the origin of the moon. Looking at the illusory figure practicing boxing under the moon, Lin Muiyu smiled, the jade soul has appeared, Xiaoye has awakened her talent, but I don't know what it is. Suddenly a loud laugh came from afar, born with a jade soul, it's actually a born with a jade soul, I didn't expect to be met by this man here. Then, a figure flew quickly from afar. Xiaoye's awakening of talent is a happy event, but it was also expected by Lin Muiyu. With Xiaoye's natural jade soul cultivation, awakening talent is inevitable, and it would be abnormal if she didn't awaken. But I didn't expect that when she awakened her talent, she would be noticed by others. A figure flew from afar, with an astonishing speed, and came close in an instant. Lin Muiyu took a step forward, appeared between Xiaoye and the person who came, and blocked it. The person who came was a middle-aged man wearing a green robe and had the cultivation of a mid-level Tianzuan. Seeing the person, Mo Yu frowned slightly. Although he knew that the other party had nothing to do with the old man in green robe, Lin Mo Yu still felt a little uncomfortable when he saw his green robe. After all, the old man in green robe and his wife took his wife as an apprentice without his consent. Maybe there are great benefits, but it was a fact that he didn't agree with him, and Mo Yu didn't like it very much. As a result, Lin Mo Yu didn't like the middle-aged man in green robe at first sight. What do you want? Lin Mo Yu didn't even call him senior and asked directly. The middle-aged man ignored Lin Mo Yu, but kept saying, born with jade soul, the doctor is suppressing the soul. Lin Muyu showed some impatience, and his voice became heavier. Who are you? What's the matter? His voice turned into the sound of the soul, awakening the other party. The middle-aged man finally reacted and whispered, Young man, is this girl your friend? Lin Muyu looked at him and didn't answer. The middle-aged man seemed to realize that his way of speaking was wrong, and immediately changed his words, I am Peng Yun from Qing Yun sect. Qing Yun sect, a subordinate of Qizai sect, is the blue lineage among red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. In this area, it is also a powerful sect. Lin Moyu asked again, what do you want? Peng Yun said, he wanted to take this little girl as his disciple. Lin Moyu interrupted him, this is my disciple, please go back. Peng Yun was stunned on the spot. He didn't expect Lin Moyu to refuse so straightforwardly. Thinking back, it would be strange for a person with a natural jade soul like this to have no master. Peng Yun did not give up and asked again, I don't know which sect you came from, but you know that this is a natural jade soul. Lin Moyu said, it's none of your business. If you have nothing to do, please go back and don't disturb my disciples' practice. Peng Yun was also unhappy. Although he shouldn't snatch other people's disciples, he was just expressing his meaning. If you don't agree, you can refuse. But Lin Muyu's attitude was so stiff that he felt embarrassed. Generally speaking, Tianzhu and Attaché's great importance to face. At the same time, Peng Yun felt that Lin Muyu seemed to have some hostility towards him, but the two sides had never met before. Peng Yun said in a deep voice, Dao Yu, have we met before? Lin Moyu shook his head, first time meeting. Peng Yun was even more puzzled, then why Dao Yu, are you hostile to me? Lin Moyu said, I have no problem with you, I just don't like the robe you are wearing. Peng Yun was stunned, he didn't like the robe he was wearing. Did his robe provoke the other party? He said with a little embarrassment, what do you mean, Dao Yu? Lin Moyu said, literally, I don't like your robe, all green robes, I don't like them. Peng Yun looked strange. Daoyo's personality is really interesting. Lin Moyu shook his head and said, If you have nothing to do, just leave. Don't hang around in front of me. I'm afraid I can't help but hit you. Peng Yun didn't leave, but said shamelessly, To be honest with you, I have always wanted to accept a disciple, but I haven't found a suitable candidate. If. Lin Moyu's eyes turned cold. What? You want to rob me? Peng Yun shook his head and said, of course not, I just want to discuss with you. 
If you are willing to give me up, I can pay a price. And I am from Qingyun sect, which is backed by Qizai sect. This girl is born with a jade soul and is an excellent material for cultivation. If she can join Qizai sect, her future will be limitless. Lin Moyu suddenly laughed, low price, right? Peng Yun immediately nodded and said, yes, you can make an offer. Lin Moyu opened his mouth, give me a world-class ninth order origin crystal and I will give you my disciple. Peng Yun was stunned on the spot. Lin Moyu's opening was not a lion's mouth. Even if the dragon opened his mouth, it would not be as good as that. The next second he wanted to curse, world class ninth order origin crystal, why don't you go and rob it? Not to mention that he can't take it out, Chitsai sect can't take it out either. Not only Chitsai sect, even Hansui Holy Land can't take it out either. Peng Yun's mouth twitched, Dao Yu, you are going too far. Lin Moyu sneered, can't you take it out? Then what are you doing here? Peng Yun said, Daoyo's conditions, not to mention Peng I can't take it out, even Hans We Holy Land can't take it out, the world class ninth order origin crystal, this thing is only in the legend. Lin Moyu looked contemptuous, no, it's no, why are there so many excuses? Peng Yun's expression became extremely ugly. After hesitating for a few seconds, he clasped his fists and said, Since Dao Yu is unwilling to give in, Peng I will not force it anymore. Dao Yu, take care. After that, he turned and left. Before leaving, he did not forget to look at Xiao Ye, and then inadvertently glanced at Xiang Yu who was resting not far away. Peng Yun's appearance was like an episode. Xiao Lu leaned against Lin Mo Yu after he left. Master, that guy seems to be a little bit wrong. Xiao Wu's spiritual sense is very sharp, but this girl has always been heartless. She has always been smooth sailing in the big world. Everyone treats her very well. She doesn't need her spiritual sense. Lin Moyu squinted his eyes and smiled. Tell me, what's wrong? Xiao Wu said, that guy said he wanted to take Xiao Yu as a disciple, but the way he looked at Xiao Yu was not like the way a master looks at a disciple, but more like looking at a commodity. Lin Moyu nodded, your feeling is right, it does mean something like that. And this guy should come back. Xiao Wu said, by the time he comes back, we will have left long ago, and he won't be able to find us. Lin Moyu shook his head, he did something to Xiao Yu, and he can find us at any time. Xiao Yo, who was resting, suddenly woke up. What did you do? Liao De Zhao, Lin Mo Yu smiled. Someone just left a mark on you. The other party is Tian Zuin. You don't have to waste your energy. You won't be able to find it. Xiao Yo screamed. What should I do? Master, can you help Xiao Yo remove the mark? Lin Mo Yu said, It doesn't matter. Just keep it like this. I also want to see what he is going to do. People in Qing Yun's sect like to wear green robes, right? Then let them know how ugly green robes are. Although Peng Yun has always been polite, Lin Mo Yu can feel that he has other ideas in his heart. He doesn't really want to accept Xiao Ye as a disciple. Just like Xiao Wu said, the way he looks at Xiao Ye is more like looking at a piece of goods. In addition, there is also the sentence he said when he saw Xiao Ye just now. Lin Moyu felt that Peng Yun had other intentions, and Xiao Ye should have unusual value to him. He finally did something to Xiao Yu, which means he will come back. Lin Moyu wants to see what he is going to do. Under the origin of Tain, Xiao Ye's jade soul appeared, and she practiced boxing dozens of times. Lin Moyu could see that for Xiao Yu, this boxing practice was very effective, which was equivalent to dozens of days of hard work. Especially when she made a breakthrough in boxing practice and her talent awakened, it was an enormous gain. Xiaoya once again took a big step towards the super god realm and began to gradually leave the scope of ordinary people. Jade Soul returned to the body, Xiaoya closed her fist and let out a long breath, then jumped up excitedly, Master, I have awakened a talent. Lin Moyu narrowed his eyes and smiled, what talent? Xiaoya said, this talent is called combined power. I can combine the power of my whole body into one, and the power exerted is stronger than the sum of the two. Xiaoye explained the talent she mastered. 
In simple terms, it is to combine all the power she has together to exert the effect of 1 plus 1 greater than 2. There are countless soul power, physical power, realm power, law power, and even magic power. As long as it is the power you master, you can combine it into 3 through this talent. In that case, Xiaoya's burst of combat power will be quite amazing. The nature of the power of the body and the soul is different, and it is generally difficult to merge. Not to mention the power of laws and even magic weapons, which are external things, it is even more impossible to merge with each other. Xiaoya not only merged, but also merged into one. Lin Moyu said, try punching me. Xiaoyu did not hesitate and immediately punched Lin Moyu. She knew that with her own strength, it was impossible to hurt Lin Moyu. After a test, Lin Moyu confirmed the effect of Xiao Yu's combined talent. If Xiao Yu's current physical strength is one and soul strength is two, then after Xiao Yu combines the two forces of body and soul into one, the power exerted is about six. It is the sum of the two and doubled. Now it is still physical strength and soul strength. When Xiao Yu goes further and contacts the law, she can also integrate the power of the law. When Xiao Yu's realm is higher, she can also refine magic weapons and integrate the power of magic weapons. In this way, the attack power that Xiao Yu can exert can be greatly improved. Xiao Yu said with a smile, Master, Xiao Yu's talent is not bad, right? Lin Moyu touched Xiao Yu's head, not bad talent. Xiao Lu was envious, Xiao Wu also wants talent. Lin, a bee, smiled silently, don't you have talent? Xiao Wu exclaimed, what talent do I have? How come I don't know it? Lin Moyu said, eating, drinking and having fun, for talents. Lin Moyu's words made Xiao Yu laugh. Xiao Wu didn't blush at all, yes, I am very strong in these four talents. Amidst the laughter and joy, several people met the Tain origin and set off again. They crossed the wide cold light and headed northeast. Green mountains and green waters, wisps of green mist turned into clouds, covering the mountains. In a lush mountain range, Qin Yun sect is in it. There are dozens of peaks reaching the clouds, and each peak represents a Tianzuan realm strongman. In the center of all the peaks, the main peak of Qin Yun sect, Qin Yun Peak, stands there. Qin Yun Peak is hundreds of thousands of meters high, as if it is going to penetrate the clouds and reach the ninth heaven. The main hall of Qin Yun sect is at the top of the peak, and the entire Qin Yun Peak exudes terrifying majesty. In the main hall, dozens of heavenly venerables were gathered together. The leader of Qin Yun sect, Qin Yun Heavenly Venerable, sat in the first seat, with a heavy and majestic look in his eyes, the majesty of the peak Heavenly Venerable filled the entire Yin Hall. Qin Yun Heavenly Venerable whispered, Junior Brother Peng Yun, are you sure you didn't see it wrong? Is it really a natural jade soul? Peng Yun nodded, I can't see it wrong, it's absolutely true. And the other party is just a little girl of 15 or 16 years old, and her cultivation has not yet entered the super god realm. Strictly speaking, she is just an ordinary person. Hearing Pinyun's affirmative answer, all the heavenly venerables present showed their faces. One heavenly venerable said, Elder Kayin in the main sect has been looking for a suitable successor. As long as we can offer this little girl, the sect master will definitely get a reward. At that time, as long as you can go to the main sect's spiritual veins to practice, with the sect master's talent, it will be a sure thing to enter the Daozuan. Qin Yun Tianzuan looked at Peng Yun, are you sure that the master of that little girl is just a low-level master? Peng Yun replied, I am sure that the other party is just a low-level Tianzuan. In addition to him, there is also a woman who is also a low-level Tianzuan and a high-level supreme mount. Qin Yun Tianzuan thought for a while, if that's the case, then you can take a few elders, disguise yourself, and bring back the little girl who was born with a jade soul. If there are a few elders who are willing to help, you can talk to Elder Peng Yun. After Qin Yun Tianzuan finished speaking, he left the hall. Peng Yun smiled and said, Elders, those who are willing to help, please follow me. As he said that, he flew out of the hall, and several people followed him immediately. There were quite a few elders who were willing to follow Peng Yun. 
If he could really bring back the little girl, his sick master would be promoted to Daozuan. Peng Yuan was naturally the first to make the contribution, and his own contribution was also indispensable. Soon, Peng Yuan led his men out of Qing Yun's sect, and through the mark sensing, he headed towards the location where Lin Moyu was. There were nine Tianzans following behind him, including himself, there were four middle-level Tianzans. In his opinion, no matter how powerful Lin Moyu was, he was just a low-level Tianzuan and could not make any waves. Peng Yun sensed the mark he left behind, and the group moved quickly and lay down. After crossing the Hanjiang River, Lin Moyu and his group continued to move northeast. Xiang Yu was very fast, but extremely stable. No matter what the terrain was, he was as if walking on flat ground. Lin Moyu walked in front of Xiang Yu, seemingly slow but actually fast, with each step covering hundreds of meters, like teleportation. Xiang Yu also had to spend some effort to keep up with Lin Moyu's speed. At the current speed, in about half a month, they would be completely out of the sphere of influence of the holy land of Hansui. The origin of the moon fell on Lin Moyu, emitting a large piece of silver light, making Lin Moyu look like a fairy under the moon. Xiao Wu and Xiao Yu bit their ears and whispered. Xiao Wu told Xiao Yu stories about what happened in the big world. After all, he had lived for tens of thousands of years, and even if he was heartless, he still had a lot of experience, which was more than enough to fool a little girl like Xiao Yu. Suddenly, Lin Moyu stopped. Xiao Yu also stopped immediately, and Xiao Wu asked curiously, Master, what happened? Lin Moyu looked into the distance, they are chasing us. Xiao Wu's eyes widened, they really came, are they looking for death? Lin Moyu smiled, I don't think so, I'm just curious, why do you have to fight each other when you can't accept a disciple? Accepting a disciple is a matter for both parties. A forced melon is not sweet. Xiao Wu snorted, maybe they don't care whether it's sweet or not, they just like to eat sour things. Lin Moyu looked at Xiao Wu in surprise, when did Xiao Wu become so eloquent? Xiao Wu laughed, it's all because of the master's good teaching. Well, not only is the eloquence good, but the flattery skills have improved. A huge breath appeared in the induction, and then a figure appeared under the moon, flying over with a fierce momentum. For mid-level, six low-level, and ten Tianzans stood in the air, smiling at Lin Moyu and others. Most of their eyes fell on Xiaoya, who was so scared that she hid behind Xiao Wu and dared not show herself. Xiao Ye was just an ordinary person, unable to bear the pressure of Tian Zuan, and felt very uncomfortable. Xiao Wu stared at them with big eyes, staring back at them, not afraid of them at all. Lin Moyu looked at the ten people who came, all wearing the same green robes, and whispered, I said, I don't like green clothes. Peng Yun laughed at Lin Moyu, Dao Yu, we meet again. What I said before still counts. As long as Dao Yu is willing to give up, Peng is willing to pay some price. Lin Moyu asked, You don't want to accept disciples. Tell me, what is the real purpose? Peng Yun laughed, Dao Yu has a keen eye. It is indeed not Peng who wants to accept disciples. The one who really wants to accept disciples is Elder Kaiyin of the Seven Color Sect. It's a pity that Elder Tsaiyin's requirements are too high, and ordinary people can't catch up with her. This girl with a natural jade soul should be the best candidate. In fact, as long as you offer conditions that are not too excessive, you can not only get huge benefits, but you may also be appreciated by Elder Kaiyin and join the Seven Color Sect. You know, the elders of the Seven Color Sect are all Daozun. Peng Yuan didn't have any tricks and directly said his true thoughts. It turned out that this was the case. It turned out that he wanted to use Xiaoya to please the damn elder Kaiyin. Lin Moyu said, what if I don't agree? Peng Yun smiled and said, then I can only be sorry for you. I hope you can open your eyes in the next life. There are some people you can't afford to offend. If you don't give in, just rob them openly. Peng Yun has made it very clear. The ten heavenly masters, including Peng Yun, all smiled. The huge pressure twisted into a stream and fell all over the sky. Lin Moyu waved his hand, and the brocade-robed lich flew out and landed on Xiaoya. The Dao blesses Xiaoya, 
just in case there is an accidental injury in the fight later. Although this is unlikely to happen, Lin Moyu is still prepared for the worst. Lin Moyu sighed, actually, I didn't lie to you just now. I really hate blue robes. He snapped his fingers, and the leader of the army appeared in front of him. Peng Yun showed a little surprise, a puppet of a mid-level Tianzuan, no wonder he dares to ignore me, it turns out he is really confident. But what's the matter, we have more than one mid-level Tianzuan here. Lin Moyu ignored Peng Yun and said to the number one legion commander, kill them quickly. The number one legion commander saluted Lin Moyu, yes, sir. After the voice fell, the number one legion commander rushed towards Peng Yun and others. Since Lin Moyu said to do it quickly, he would not delay time. Peng Yun and others smiled, and one of the middle-level Tianzuan elders smiled and said, It's just a puppet of a middle-level Tianzuan. Feng Feng will deal with it. Before he finished speaking, the number one legion commander revealed a world of rules behind him. In an instant, countless dragon cavalry troops rushed out of the world of rules, densely packed, covering this world. The number one legion commander dispatched 100,000 dragon cavalry troops to surround Peng Yun and others. It was unknown how many layers were inside and outside. Peng Yun and others could only see the dragon cavalry, even the origin of Tain was. There was nothing else in sight except the dragon cavalry burning with immortal flames. Every dragon cavalry was a low-level Tianzuan with unparalleled terrifying power. Peng Yun and the others' faces changed drastically. What's going on? How come there are so many puppets in the heavenly venerable realm? It's over, we are surrounded, break out quickly. Leader number one did not give them a chance and waved his sword, death charge, death breath. In an instant, the dragon riders launched a death charge at the same time. Although the death charge at close range was weak, it could still pose a threat to them. The dragon riders, with their huge size and terrifying impact, rushed towards Peng Yun and the others without hesitation. At the same time, a breath of death was spewed out, and a raging flame suddenly ignited between heaven and earth, evolving into a sea of fire. Peng Yun and the others took out their magic weapons and used their own methods to defend. From the beginning of the battle, they fell into the passive stage of being beaten. The number one legion leader was not idle. He led several captains who were also mid-level Tianzuan to the front, waved his sword and shouted, Bogu Battle Formation. Led by him, the entire Dragon Rider Corps waved their swords at the same time to form a White Bone Battle Formation. White Bone Slash The White Bone Law surged, and the White Bone Battle Formation turned into a huge sword, gathering the power of the entire battle formation, locking Peng Wei and others. Not good, block it quickly. Peng Yun screamed, he took out a magic weapon like a tortoise shell and turned it into a shield. The shield quickly expanded and covered the surroundings. Ten people quickly approached and hid behind Peng Yun's magic weapon. The white bone slash fell on the shield, and the roar was endless. A large number of cracks suddenly appeared on the shield. Seam. Peng Yun's face suddenly changed, can't stop it. Zero, asterisk. Boom. The next second, the shield exploded, and the law was destroyed. Peng Yun and others were scattered on the spot, and they were all injured, especially Peng Yun who was the most seriously injured. He took out a few pills and threw them into his mouth, and his injuries recovered. At this time, another middle-level Tianzuan shouted, Follow me to breakthrough. He took out an umbrella-shaped magic weapon, opened the treasure umbrella, and turned into a huge stream of light and rushed out. Wherever the stream of light passed, the dragon riders were shocked back, and several Tianzans hid in the stream of light and rushed out together. But the number of dragon riders was too large, and after the treasure umbrella knocked away countless dragon riders, the speed began to gradually decrease. Tianzuan continued to release power to maintain the momentum of rushing forward. Finally, the encirclement of the dragon riders became loose. They saw the origin of the moon again. The heavenly venerable shouted, let's rush out. Several people were shocked. As long as they could break out of the encirclement, they would be free to fly. 
The number one legion commander let out a long roar, and the entire legion immediately moved. The legion's actions surged like waves, and the encirclement was about to close again. We can't let them close, break out with all our strength. Peng Yun shouted loudly. He took out a sharp sword and slashed forward, killing dozens of dragon riders. The other heavenly venerables followed suit and attacked one after another, with the treasure umbrella clearing the way. Finally, they rushed out and broke out of the encirclement of the dragon riders. Let's go. A heavenly venerable threw out a flying boat and jumped in. But he found that no one followed him. Looking up, the tiny origin that had already appeared was once again covered by dark clouds. Looking more carefully, it was not dark clouds, but more and more dragon cavalry corps that covered the sky and the earth. Before, they could still be counted, but this time they could not even be counted. The number one corps commander released more dragon cavalry corps, the number of which had exceeded one million. From the sky to the ground, it was densely packed with dragon cavalry corps. They only broke out of a small encirclement, but fell into a larger encirclement. The emotion called despair spread in his heart. On the ground, Xiaoya raised her little head, revealing her slender white neck, like a beautiful swan. Xiaoya screamed, Master, how can there be so many dragon cavalry troops? Before Lin Muyu spoke, Xiao Wu had already shouted, This is only a few, at most one-tenth, don't just look, eat food, eat food. Xiao Wu had already prepared a lot of snacks, ready to be her spectator corpse. Several Tianzins from Qing Yun's sect have many magic weapons and are much harder to kill than those Tianzins of scattered cultivators. Their combat power is often better than some Tianzins of the same level of scattered cultivators. If Lin Moyu used the Skeleton King to kill them, he would have killed them all long ago. But it would take some effort to let the number one legion commander to surround and kill them. After all, the Dragon Riders are more suitable for large-scale group combat. It is too small to deal with only 10 Tianzins, which is a bit like using a cannon to kill a mosquito. The number one legion commander once again deployed the white bone battle formation, and this time the white bone battle formation was stronger than before. White bone star C. The number one legion commander raised his sword and used the white bone star C. In an instant, the whole world was shrouded by the White Bone Law, and the White Bone Law evolved into countless swords and weapons, slashing towards Peng Yun and others. Peng Yun and others resisted, but their bodies were still shaking. Peng Yun shouted, This law will attack the soul. A mid-level Tianzuan took out a 727 triangular battle flag, Protect Me. Several Tianzins immediately protected it in the center, and he injected all his strength into the minister of the battle flag. His breath dropped sharply, and in a short period of time, most of the power of the mid-level Tianzuan was consumed. But the triangular battle flag rose against the wind and became extremely huge in an instant. The battle flag fluttered, and the wind blew, making it difficult for the cavalry to stand firm. And the Tianzuan, whose power was exhausted, took out several pills and took them, and then recovered a little. The battle chest was surrounded, and the invisible power rippled, making it impossible for the dragon riders to get close. Not bad. Lin Moyu looked at the battle flag and felt that this battle flag was not simple. The number one legion commander continued to launch a fierce attack on the battle flag, but the defense circle supported by the battle flag was extremely solid and difficult to attack for a while. The several Tianzins inside also breathed a sigh of relief, eating pills one by one to recover themselves. Lin Moyu knew that it was probably impossible to rely on the number one legion commander to win a quick victory. The Tianzins with sex are indeed different from those Tianzins who practiced as independent practitioners. In the origin secret treasure, those Tianzins died so easily. Miao Wan and Lian Qing were able to survive to the end not because of luck, but because of experience. The Tianzins in front of him were backed by the Qing Yun sect, a branch of the Seven Color sect, which also had a lot of resources. It would take some effort to kill them. Lin Moyu didn't want to drag it on any longer, lest there would be more trouble. With a light tap of his finger, the skeleton hell unfolded silently, covering the area where the battle flag was located. 
countless hell evil spirits rushed out and pounced on the battle flag. After being blocked, the hell evil spirits began to bite frantically. Although the hell evil spirits were only at the supreme realm, they had the characteristic of eating everything. Even if you were a magic weapon at the Tianzuan realm, they could wear you down bit by bit. From a certain perspective, the hell evil spirits were better than the dragon riders, who were at a higher realm. The battle flag could not move there, and could only continue to endure the devouring of the evil spirits of hell. The Hellfire River exploded with countless flames, helping the evil spirits of hell to consume the power of the battle flag. No matter how strong the battle flag is, its power is always limited, and it can be worn out with water grinding skills. The faces of several Tianzuan changed drastically. What kind of magic is this? I have never seen it before. I think this magic is a bit like the death system in the northwest region. The power of the battle flag is being worn out, and it can't last too long. Everyone should be prepared for a big battle. Peng Yun sighed. I didn't expect the opponent to be so strong. I miscalculated. Someone said, Elder Peng Yun, see if you can talk to the other party again. How about treating this matter as a misunderstanding and letting it go? Peng Yun shook his head slightly, thinking it was unlikely. Although the contact was short, Lin Moyu's temper and personality were basically clear. Lin Moyu is the kind of person who either doesn't fight or fights to death. But Peng Yun is still trying, Dao Yu, can we discuss it? We were wrong this time. If you can show mercy. Lin Moyu interrupted him directly and said in a cold voice, it's a life and death struggle. Xiao Wu laughed at the side, these people must be crazy. They are fighting like this, and they are still trying to make peace. Xiao Yo said, I think the master can take them as slaves. Lin Moyu laughed, of course we have to take them, but not living people. Xiao Yo immediately said, Nyo Nyo means the same thing. Living people are not as obedient as dead people. Xiao Wu also shouted, that's right, living people are not as obedient as dead people. Xiao Yu was confused and didn't understand why. Peng Yun's words were interrupted, and they knew that it would definitely be a fight to the death. Peng Yun said, I was wrong this time. I will burn my soul and help several brothers to break out of the encirclement with all their strength. If any of us are lucky enough to escape, we must report to the sect master and ask the main sect elder to avenge us. Several people nodded with solemn expressions. After ten minutes of persistence, the battle flag finally collapsed. The evil spirits of hell rushed towards several people frantically. Several people started at the same time, using the power of the heavenly venerable to tear the skeleton hell apart. Just tear him apart. Although the skeleton hell is broken, the marking has been completed. Lin Moyu ejected a ball of immortal flames, and tall and mighty skeleton kings sat on the skeleton throne and emerged from the flames of hell. Xiaoya looked at him with eyes as bright as stars, so powerful. Xiao Wu explained on the side, this is called Skeleton King, it is the master's signature technique. Lin Moyu summoned a hundred skeleton kings. The other side had ten heavenly lords. Regardless of strength, each of them had ten lords to compare fairly. Because of the existence of the dragon riders, they didn't find the skeleton king at all. But several people felt a chill in their hearts at the same time, feeling that danger was coming. Breakthrough Peng Yun roared, his whole body was ablaze with flames, his soul was burning, pushing his breath to the peak. At this moment, Peng Yun's power almost exceeded the middle-level Heavenly Lord, reaching the high-level Heavenly Lord. At this time, outside the encirclement, a hundred skeleton kings raised their swords at the same time. Magic, White Bone Slashing God The world of rules emerged, and the White Bone Law surged out, which was stronger than the White Bone Law of the White Bone Battle Formation. The sword light lit up on the ten Tianzans and then exploded. Their breakout had not yet begun, but it ended with the end of their lives. Six low-level Tianzans died on the spot, from soul to body, they were shattered in the sword light at the same time, and none of them survived. Until death, they didn't know how they died or where the attack came from. The sudden sword light took their lives just like that. 
10,000 years of cultivation ended here, and they died. The four middle-level Tianzans were severely injured at the same time, lost their combat effectiveness, and were dying. They fell to the ground with horror on their faces, even the ability to fly was gone. The number one legion commander took back the dragon riders and knelt in front of Lin Moyu. I failed to complete the mission. Please punish me, my lord. 1.4 Lin Moyu waved his hand. Get up. It's not your fault. You have tried your best. The light of the moon fell like mercury, bringing a hint of coolness, but it could not forgive the hearts of Peng Yun and the other four. At this time, Peng Yun and the other four finally saw who killed them. A majestic and terrifying skeleton, each of which was a mid-level Tianzuan, a full hundred. Peng Yun's voice trembled with a little fear. Who are you? How can you have so many puppets? Lin Moyu smiled and said, You will know soon. Will you know soon? Peng Yun and the other four did not understand what Lin Moyu meant, but they did not need to understand. Lin Moyu waved his hand casually, and a warm mother appeared in the air. Peng Yun shouted in horror, Warm mother, you are a Zerg. The other three also shouted in horror, Zerg, it's actually Zerg. Lin Moyu shook his head, wrong answer, you should be punished. After a life-threatening battle, ten heavenly venerables came in with great momentum, leaving blood and flesh all over the ground. Except for four mid-level heavenly venerables, the other six people couldn't tell who was who. Xiaoya looked at the bloody scene, her face turned pale, obviously very uncomfortable. There is a huge difference between knowing the dead and seeing the dead, and the sensory impact is completely different. Xiao Wu was heartless, look more, you will get used to it after seeing it more, anyway, you will see it often in the future. Xianyo also followed, any strong man grew up stepping on the mountains of corpses and seas of blood. This small scene is nothing. Xiaoya knew that what the two said made sense, and nodded weakly, resisting the discomfort and trying to stare at the bloody scene. Lin Moyu neither agreed nor disagreed. Xiao Wu was right. This kind of thing, you will get used to it after seeing it more. After a while, Lin Moyu waved a piece of immortal flame. The immortal flame devoured all the remaining corpses and flesh. Xiaoya felt strange in her heart. Is the master going to help them cremate? In her little memory, many people have to be cremated after death. Xiao Wu said while eating snacks, of course not, the master wants to turn them into obedient dead people. Obedience dead people. And Xiao Yu's puzzled eyes, these dead Tianzuan reorganized their flesh and blood, and their souls were reborn. They became resurrected again, and returned to the world with the memories of their previous lives. Ten resurrected people knelt in front of Lin Moyu in unison, pious and respectful. Seeing this scene, Xiao Yu widened her eyes, and she finally understood what the saying the dead are more obedient than the living meant. Lin Moyu looked at Peng Yun and said, Tell me, what's going on? From beginning to end, Lin Moyu never believed what Peng Yun and others said, or there was another inside story. Lin Moyu was too lazy to ask before. God knows whether the answer he got from the living is true or false, it is better to get the answer from the dead. Peng Yun told the whole story again, and Lin Moyu murmured after listening, I didn't say anything nonsense. The elder Kai Yin of the Seven Color Sect has been looking for a successor disciple recently. As a Daozo and Rome expert, he has extremely high requirements, but he can't find a suitable disciple to inherit his position. Elder Kayin also issued a reward in the sect. Anyone who can find a suitable disciple for her will be rewarded. The leader of Qingyun sect, Qingyun Tianzuan, has been stuck at the peak Tianzuan level for many years. He wants to go further. The best way is to go to the Qitsai main sect, get the blessing of the Qitsai main sect's origin spiritual vein, and practice there for a period of time. But according to the rules of the Qitsai sect, if you want to practice in the origin spiritual vein, you need to meet many conditions. This time Peng Yun happened to meet Xiaoya, who was born with a jade soul and has an excellent talent for practice. If Xiaoya could be sent to Elder Kai Yin, perhaps Qing Yun Tianzuan could go to the Qitsai sect to practice and thus break through to the Daozuan realm in one fell swoop. 
Although the internal details of the whole thing are slightly different, they are not much different. In Lin Muyu's opinion, what Qin Yun Tianzuan really lacks is luck. The Qizai sect's original spiritual vein suppresses the luck of the entire spiritual vein, including the luck of Qin Yun sect. As long as he can get enough luck blessing, Qin Yun Tianzuan has a good chance of breaking through to Daozuan. By then, Qin Yun sect will become a four-star force, and it will be the best in the seven branch sects of Qizai sect. Even if he is lucky, Qin Yun Tianzuan can enter the main sect and become the elder of the main sect, gaining greater authority. People die for money, birds die for food, and I can only say that your luck is over. Judging from the fact that Qin Yun Tianzuan has been unable to break through to Daozuan for a long time, Zhou Lu Sek's luck is no longer a fly. But think about it, it shouldn't be. The Qizai Sek's spiritual vein is not weak. With it suppressing the luck, the luck of the seven branch sects is not much worse. But why did this happen? Maybe only one day he would know when he saw it with his own eyes. He couldn't see the luck, but Xiao Wu could see it. As long as Xiao Wu saw it, it would be clear. Lin Moyu opened the world of rules and threw all ten Tianzans to the human emperor. From them, he could also get information about the great origin continent. The human emperor was sorting out the information about the origin continent at this time, and the more information the better. After sorting out all this, Lin Moyu used the law of time to erase the mark of time, and then set off again. He changed the direction slightly and wiped out all the breath he left behind, making it impossible to track him. The origin alternated, the moon set and the sun rose. One day after Lin Moyu left, when the origin of the sun and the moon alternated, Qin Yun Tianzuan arrived with a group of people. They found the place where Ping Yun died. Someone held a magic weapon similar to the Bagua plate and said in a deep voice, the last place where Elder Ping Yun and others appeared was here. Another elder in the Tianzuan realm closed his eyes and felt it for a while. His face changed slightly. Master, the breath here is a little wrong. It is not the breath of my human race. It is not the human race. An elder took out a magic weapon. This magic weapon flew around the place where Ping Yun and others died, as if collecting something. The magic weapon came back and shot out a phantom, and a mother insect appeared on the phantom. Mother insect. It's the Zerg. Several people were shocked to see the Zerg in the territory of Nanjo. The Zerg has been active in Shizhou all year round and occasionally goes to Beijo to fight with the Dragon Clan. It is not surprising that the Zerg appeared in Dongzhou. After all, Dongzhou is the most chaotic and anything can happen. But encountering Zerg in Nanjo is a rare and strange thing. Zerg rarely comes to Nanjo. In the long history of the Origin Continent, the number of times Zerg appeared in Nanjo can be counted on one's fingers. Qin Yun Tianzuan's face was gloomy. After some investigation, the breath left here was the breath of the Zerg. In other words, Peng Yun and others died at the hands of the Zerg. Except for the breath here, the breaths in all directions have been wiped out and cannot be tracked. 820, however, even if he could track them, Qin Yun Tianzuan would not go there to find out what realm those insects are in. If they are in the same realm as himself, he would be a dead end if he went there. Qin Yun Tianzuan said, it seems that this matter can only be reported to the main sect. Please ask the elders of the main sect to come and investigate. Since it is related to the Zerg, Qin Yun Tianzuan did not dare to make a decision on his own and decided to push the responsibility to the living layer. At this time, another elder said, Master, you can also tell Elder Kaiyin about the natural jade soul. Although we failed to send the person to her, providing clues is also a small achievement. Qin Yun Tianzuan nodded, I will go back first. Everyone knew that Elder Ping Yun and others died in vain. The Zerg will not reason with them, and it is not their turn to take revenge. Half a day later, three Dao Zuns from the main sect of the Qizai sect flew out with a powerful aura. They cut through the sky at an astonishing speed and came to the place where Ping Yun and others died. There were three Dao Zuns, two men and one woman, one of whom was Lin Muyu's old acquaintance, Daoist Wei Exian. Daoist Wei Exian has a magic weapon that can go back in time. 
The female celestial master among the three, whose whole body is covered by hazy smoke and dust, is Elder Kaiyan. Elder Kaiyan's voice is soft and crisp. It is indeed the breath of the Zerg. I didn't expect that the Zerg would appear in Nanjo. This is a rare thing. Should I report it to the Holy Land? Wei Xian took out the magic weapon of time. No hurry. Take a look first.